How y'all doing? Doing well, better than you. Back I know. To oh. smooth jazz. Sorry if I got a little glare going on, guys. Yeah, he had an eye patch earlier. <laughs> we told him to keep it on, Are but he going? wouldn't. Oh. Yeah, it was too much. It was too much. I uh, I had to take off my eye patch. Okay. But it, it wasn't even like a regular eye patch. I, like the eye patches I've seen are like flat. They look like an eye patch. This thing but yours... looked like a Madonna boob cone coming out. Like it was really obnoxious. Where's it? Did you get it from Party City or something? It CBS. Like... Oh, it was a real one. It wasn't a, a prop. Hold on. You can buy eye patches from CVS. You can buy yes. neck brace. I just found that out. Got a neck brace at CVS the other day, Hold too. Hold on. I'm laughing at the way Zane said Party City. What do you say? Because I've never heard. Like he always emphasized the weird parts. Like you're like Party City. Instead <laughs> of like Party City. Did I not say like, Party City? When, did you get it? at party but, city oh, I, oh you know why because i was about to fuck up on the whole word so that's what it was like i would caught myself and say the party city no. <laughs> who is elton calls it best buy and i'm like but, yeah, oh. no. <laughs> it hurts, it hurts. but no. honestly best that buy. makes more sense that's the best buy people Ugh. people in missouri go taco bell not Taco Bell. People are weird, man. So, wait, are we going to address what happened to your eye? Yeah, address uh, let, it. Let Heath. the people guess. <laughs> um, no, yeah, I. Uh, it's you get so injured, but it's the stupid. It's for like not a fun reason. <sighs> I honestly don't even know what happened. Uh, the other night, my eye just started hurting really, really badly. Um, so I took out my contacts and I went to sleep, and I was like, okay, let me sleep it off. Hopefully, it's okay. And the next morning, it was literally blood red, just <gasps> swollen, and like was killing me like i've never felt before so i went to the eye doctor to get it checked out and he like did like one of those like little things with like the past where he was looking at it and uh apparently i like cut my cornea and then it got infected so i had like a, an infection inside this cut on my eye um it got infected that quick i don't know if it was going on like and i just didn't really like notice it and then it just got to the point where it was like unbearable um but yeah so now i have these like antibiotic drops that i gotta put in so sorry if my eyes start. But you're gonna leaking. you're gonna be okay, right? Leaking. Yeah, you're right. You look like you're a little high. Uh, yeah. It's our high episode. Half guys. high. <laughs> yeah. Golly. I don't. The eyes are like my biggest like fear. I hate anything that has to do with them. Yeah. Because it's just so terrifying. But you're you're, you're saying that it's like the um the fastest healing the fastest, the fastest, fastest healing, healing organ yeah. I think in your body is the eye. The Interesting. Eye the you fastest. would never think that. Let's speed this shit up. Okay, well, we have a very special guest today on this episode, so let's just roll with the intro mm -hmm. and get her on. You guys know who she is because of the thumbnail, but let's just do it. All right. <clears throat> it's, it's coffee. I don't want to look like an alcoholic. I'm going to use this coffee mug. They're going to see it anyways. It's coffee time, baby. <laughs> Wink. <laughs> <gasps> that's so good. Whoa. Wow, that's hot. Now, Go on that next, next, next episode. Do, do, the, do the worm. Do the worm. <gasps> Whoa! Hey, it's oh. more of a seesaw. That's the first time I've seen that. <laughs> yeah. That's incredible. Yeah. Jack of all trades, master of none. <laughs> 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 all right, let's jump into it. We have our lovely guest. Nabi I think I hear Zane say it so many times different that I'm like I know. I don't think anybody in this room probably knows that about maybe Matt, I mean like Mariduena? Eh, but uh, there's like an accent to it, right? That's like a It's Mariduena. Mariduena. Mari Is there an accent over the N? Yeah, Is there an accent? Yeah, yeah, Do the eyebrows. Is it's accent? a Mariduena. <laughs> Is there a squiggly? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. Oh shit. Is there like a squiggly over the N or any of the a letters or no? Um there's an accent over the A, so there's a squiggly over the N. No, in the font when you write it out. Zane, that's he what just, we that's just an joked accent. about. Oh, oh shit, That's my right. bad. He goes, is there an accent saying goes, is there a squiggly? I'm also not paying attention ever in these episodes, so please bear with me. And now what is the, the background of that? Um, well, I am half Ecuadorian. That's where Maraduena comes from. And then Natalina is Italian. Is Ecuador on the equator? It is that is. why it's called Ecuador? Ooh, I think so. It's definitely in South America. I feel like a yeah. fucking genius. It's it's on well, the equator. Hold on, is it true? Are we just are we no, guessing? No, it's, it's on the equator. I don't know if that's why. They I don't named know why it just the country hit me right now. I was like, hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet it's it. Odd. If it's not, I don't know. I'm disappointed. Round of applause. Wow, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Was Ecuador first or the equator first? That's what I'm saying. Well, I don't know. I feel the like we equator sound like the was yeah, this is probably first. <laughs> we are an educational podcast. If you didn't know, maybe so I like to. Yeah, only facts here. Only. We should call our podcast Only Facts Unfiltered. <laughs> <laughs> no. But yeah, welcome back to Zane Heath Unfiltered. We always forget to do the intro. Yep. I'm Zane. I'm Heath. I'm Matt. I'm Mariah. And that's I'm Natalie. Natalie. Natalina. When that song came out, I was like, fuck, her real name was Natalina. 
That's my you Instagram. Didn't? How do you know that? But I just... It's hard like, to tell. This is so embarrassing. That it says Natalie. 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 Natalina for Noel. For the record, I knew everything. <laughs> yeah. I knew everything. <laughs> what? <laughs> you didn't know her name was Natalina? I knew, like, Natalina, yeah. Avicina, but I didn't know that your handle was Natalina Noel. Yeah. Shoot. I'm sorry, Nat. It's hard to catch that when you look at it really quickly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it sounds like a real name. name. It's it's real name. sounds like a nice, like, business. Like, you should have, like, a... Like a pocketbook line, like, or like a purse. Or a, <laughs> a purse. Keith makes fun of me for saying pocketbook, but I get it from my mother. Thanks, T. <laughs> it sounds like the the like the main star of a little kid show too, like Dora. Natalina, hi guys, I'm Natalina the Explorer. <laughs> Natalina the Explorer. The Can, Ecuador. The Ecuador. <laughs> Can you say Can you? basura? <laughs> Men are say basura. Say it with me now. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Natalie. Yeah, thank you. That's Bye. it. Bye. Learned all you needed to know. <laughs> Natalie. <laughs> Natalie, I love the haircut. Thanks. It's so oh, nice. I love it. Cute. I know. It's like very different. I like the hair clips too. Thanks. And the coat. Thanks. You look like thank Coraline. You, Matt. you look like Coraline, but like. Pink. <laughs> <laughs> what? 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 I don't know. That's pink. A compliment. Coraline. Coraline's yellow. Coraline's no? yellow. No, no, a yellow no. jacket, but she has like the little hair with like yeah. the little clips. Yeah. But it's not. I love oh. it. That's funny. Yeah. yeah, you look very cute today. Did Reggie style you? Uh, he did, yeah. Wow. Does Reggie ever make decisions and he's like, you're going to wear this? So you're like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I just wear what I want to wear. But he like lays out outfits and like options for me, which is really nice. Oh, fun. Like, so when I get I want to get to that point. <laughs> it's oh, fun. Guys, you know what I heard at David's before I left once? I, we were going to the movie theater, <laughs> like, that night. And then Natalie goes, hey, Reggie, can you get me some clothes for the movie theater? We are just watching a movie. A gown? She was being styled to just watch a movie. Like, Reggie, like, sweats. <laughs> like, sweats. <laughs> oh, like, so- <laughs> I was what? like, Natalie, you need to be styled for a movie night? Well, like, I, not even a premiere, just us right, watching In my a defense, movie. I just wanted a sweatband. He was like, do you want jeans and a cute top? Or, like, what? And I was like, no. <laughs> Oh, I just want like a sweatpants off. He's good at his job. You can't deny that. Something like some butter stains. Some some grease. (laughs) (laughs) Nothing white. I'm going to ask him once to do that and see if like what you can do, like what you can get me. (laughs) Be fun. He's the best. You're from Vernon Hills. Yeah, I'm from Vernon Hills. You know, shy Chicago. Are there hills in Vernon Hills? No. Oh, so it's just a state of mind. It's like an illusion. Yeah. Oh, damn. You miss it? Uh, no. (laughs) <laughs> okay no i don't really miss Vernon oh, Hills i thought you guys love chicago I like no i mean i love Vernon chicago Hills. like I, I love like being in the city like if i could like like this summer i was like looking into apartments in the, in chicago for the summer i never fucking even go there so it's not even worth it i might yeah. as well just get a hotel but i was looking into it and because I, I love i love summers in chicago it's like it's literally like the best same yeah <laughs> i'm like <laughs> have you been like a good i don't think so oh my gosh you go out on it's... the boats out there on the lake Oh, yeah, I would love to go out the on the water. The water is so nice. And the nightlife is just like, you can you can go to a little karaoke bar. You can go to Old Town. You can go to Lincoln Park. You go to River North to the clubs. Like, there's such a variety and there's so much. Like, here in LA, it's like we go to four clubs every single weekend, you know? Yeah. It's the same, yeah. Thing. It's the every same shit every there weekend. Is, there is, a, like, a lot more to do out there. Yeah, and, like, you can get a boat on the lake. You can, like, be in, like, a high... I don't know. It's just a different do, vibe. Just so, since we're on this topic, I saw this TikTok where people were saying how every two decades there's like a new place to be it was like the, from the 80s to the Z- 2000s it was miami then new york was 2000 to 2000 dallas in the 80s or it was the... it was something like that it was first miami then new york then la la was the past two decades they were like what's the next place to be nashville and people, everybody <laughs> keeps thinking that it's gonna be chicago like chicago is gonna be the new la where everyone's gonna want to move there oh, interesting yeah. i can see that i could Whoever be down wants for to that come, let's yeah do it. or idaho is it pretty expensive there Idaho. uh i mean not as expensive as here right like, you can get a nice apartment for, like, three grand a month, four grand a month. That's still very expensive. When I say nice apartment, I mean, like, a three-bedroom. Like, you're up high. Not, like, a one-bedroom or a studio. Right? Yeah. Yeah. But you can get that for, like, 1500 which is normal. And they have but rapid normal, transit, yeah. too, like, to yeah. get around. Yeah, the around. transport's fun. Like, yeah. it's just, like, a, it's, like, such a good vibe. Like, there's, like, th- so many things to do. I don't really remember it. I feel like we were blacked out the whole time I was there. Uh, yeah. yeah. I, was also, I was also in the <laughs> hospital half the time, too, so I don't really remember the <laughs> city too much. We're going, like, we're going in like two weeks for Lollapalooza. I know. <gasps> Are you guys going? Um, you know what? I kind of want to make it happen because I had a great time last year and the year before. It's so much fun. And I feel like it's like, 
there's no like re- i mean there probably are great festivals but i feel like lala is such a big one that's actually happening this year you know like coachella's not happening is that the first one to. the first festival that's like the first big festival um after everything? well rolling, I think rolling some... loud is this weekend which is like a huge like it's oh like, for, yeah like, hip-hop and that's gonna be a Miami. fucking disaster it's, it's gonna, gonna be get... crazy is Lollapalooza the one we went to where we did like a, a Android phone brand deal thing? No, no, that was, was Pitchfork. That? that was Pitchfork. Pitchfork. Uh, pitchfork. Okay. Okay. Pitchfork. Wait, what's Pitchfork? <laughs> no, but it was bad. It was that's what, pouring. In the my whole head, that's time. what I thought this was the whole time. I'm like, you guys are going to that again? No, no, <laughs> yeah. that one, that what's one was bad. Uh, well, Pitchfork is a uh, music review blog, um, and sometimes they hold a music festival. Wait, is it in Chicago? Yeah. It is, yeah. It is in Chicago, I'll say that. It would have been fun, but it was just like... We, yeah, it was literally buckets <laughs> the entire time we were there. We had like ponchos the whole time. See, it was I think that's like the most fun. Away. I feel no. like that's fun too. <laughs> I've had the <laughs> most fun at like Lollapuzza when it's been downpouring because you just like, you're like drunk no. and you're dancing in the mud and the rain you're like oh my god i love my life it's the best moment ever but heath and i had to give away phones the whole time so oh, we're sitting there trying to give away without that. breaking them before it was them. So, oh, so, so bad. Bad. everyone's like i don't want a fucking phone like, <laughs> <laughs> i want to go to the fucking yeah that is so I bizarre shit about the brand that we're no it was like no, a, it was the like the a brand, fun trip the, thing, yeah the situation like, you were in everybody yeah. had iphones over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah we were taking these phones and they're like i i we we couldn't take give it. these things away. People, they're making you get on the call with their carriers, and you're having to do the switch. <laughs> like, oh yeah, God. we're uh, no, yeah. I have the SIM card. I'm putting it in right yeah, now. Yeah, we're uh-huh. just switching it over. You're doing basically what now, people do at phone stores. Yeah, at the best. Oh, yeah. all underneath a poncho. We're like, get under here. Right, right. Oh, oh, awful. Really <laughs> and they're like drugged out, like d- drunker yeah. than ever. Trying oh, to Zane Heath, we need the we need the post to go live in an hour. Where's our content here, boys? <laughs> I'm like, the towers are so. <laughs> lost service here we can't post but you've been going to lawless since you were like a kid right i mean yeah since i was 16 oh wow yeah yeah we were going through your old pictures today and we saw that you've been going for a long time yes i have thank you, you I am a la la veteran. it's your thing my sister's going for the first time this year too oh that's Ooh. fun oh, yeah. oh, that's fun cool. it's so fun when your sister gets older i know you have two sisters. i'm so excited are you like can i tag with you she's like no <laughs> and no she's like texting me she's like do you have an extra artist pass i'm like excuse me bitch <laughs> <laughs> Hey Nat, where can I get mall? <laughs> oh my god, no, she was like, Can I get it? She's like, Hey, like, I think I want to get like a fake ID. And I was like, You're fucking what? 16. What are you talking oh, about? You're no. gonna get a fake ID. Just She's the... like, All my friends have it. And I was like, What? So you have How? a I don't even know what to do. I know, I'm like, You're in high school. Like, Kids Did you have days, a fake man. ID at any point though in your life? Of course. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but no, you don't like not ask in high your school. you don't ask like, your older brother for something. You just kind of keep that's something he keeps like. Right, separate. but I'm just no, curious about me, but... Natalie's like fake ID experiences. Did you have one with your face on it, or were you? Yeah, going... I always no, I always had my face. I always had like act, like fake IDs on a real ID that was actually somebody's. Okay, what state were you from? Uh, New York. <laughs> oh, easiest course. place to replicate a fake ID. Of course. I wonder if it's still like elite, like those fake IDs are still are legal because yes. remember it was no. Oh, no, no, <laughs> it's definitely illegal. No, it's not, <laughs> guys. That's what I'm. When you have a fake ID, that's like it's not a real working ID, but it has your face and everything. Those are not like illegal. You can't go to jail for that. You just gets taken away from it's you. It's a forged document. No, Zane, no, it's like extremely illegal. No, it's Zane not. saying this to a cop. No, no, a cop will not take you to jail if you have a fake fucking ID. <laughs> they won't. If you have somebody else's ID with someone's face and you're trying to pose as them. That's when it's like really illegal. I have heard that. Okay. I have heard that. Okay, but that, that can get brought you. up in court though that you had a forged document. Like it can make your case worse. Yeah, if, you're, if it's connected to like a murder, but if it's just a fake <laughs> ID and you just got like, you, you couldn't get into a bar, I don't think you can. They can't yeah, I mean, do I never much had a that. friend, like, I mean, all my friends had fake IDs. I never had a friend that like got arrested because of it. You know, yeah. you just get it taken away. Like that's like your consequence. I just don't think they like, it, there's not enough for them to like. <laughs> I always had a real ID that wasn't me. See that like, you can go to jail for. Oh. That you can definitely go to jail for, but that's like that's like the safest way. I texted my brother. I was like 20 years old, and I was like, "Hey, could I get like could I get your old ID?" And he was like, "No, get the fuck out of here." And then I was just like, "Okay." <laughs> like, it was just like I thought he would be like a cool big brother, yeah. and it was just like, "No, what are you?" You stupid yeah, yeah did you buy it online and they send it to you in a discreet package no I, I actually at the end of my senior year of high school we were like we had like photo and graphics or whatever and like a bunch of us got together and like took on the white background and photo and graphics as the teacher was out during that period <gasps> and we knew it like during lunch i think and we all like went and took photos like on the white background. Oh, that's it, like a scene in a movie. It, we yeah, guys, you made the like, IDs at the school? No, 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 no. That we said it was just. <laughs> they like, have a fake ID it was just like we didn't know where else to get like a clean white backdrop. 
Oh, Because, like, right. on a wall at your house, the lighting's kind of weird. You know, whatever. So yeah. we use, like, this photo Live, laugh, lab. love sign in the back. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. We, we bought box lights just for our fake IDs. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah, we, we did the whole thing. White wall, the box <laughs> light, just to get, shoot. like, yeah. That's the most zane thing, like, you would have done in high school. Yeah, no, I mean, w- these are IDs were really important, especially in Florida. He's, he's wearing anything. his hat. He doesn't realize that you can't have a hat <laughs> in an ID picture. And he's like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> So, he, he's it says South Plantation High School. No, I didn't. I actually <laughs> didn't start wearing hats until much later in life. Hats were never on my head. Oh yeah, he had his. I had my straightened hair. Oh well, yeah. I oh, can't. Nice I can't hair. fuck that up. Yeah, because if you take it off, it's. No, oh, I never thought about that. Maybe is that why? Like, if you had some hair loss, did you straighten your hair all the time? No, no. I I have hair loss because of genetics. Like uh, all my have my you entire seen his dad? <laughs> Oh yeah, da- your dad completely bald. bald. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And all his Believe brothers, everybody just bald, 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 bald. bald. Um, my mom's side too. They are bald. My mom balding, but everyone balding. Shut up, really? Oh God. Poor Sorry, thing. Yeah. Poor thing. Tell you your story. <laughs> I was I was really down to get the hair transplant, and I've like been really really considering it lately. And then I saw an old guy, and you could tell he got one because like he lost it again, and he ended up having to like shave it, and he had the scar that went like from ear to ear. Yeah. And like. Mm-hmm. I feel like you do the transplant, it looks great, and then as you start getting even older, you start losing it again. And I was just like, oh man. Like there's there unless you like have like that ring around the back to like hide the scar. You'll have the like, ring. That ring of I hair know. never never <laughs> dies out. That will keep growing forever. But then you have to have a clean top and then the Well, he dude, <laughs> in like 20, 30 years, you don't think they're gonna come up with something that is going to save us? I think that save you need to us. Just <laughs> save us. Like you don't life see, or death you don't see the glue. Like that sh- like that shit is crazy already. Imagine in 30 years. Like how <laughs> and we're gonna have full fucking heads of hair when we're 80 years old. I already know it. I'm then not worried about gonna that. Everyone's gonna be like <laughs> <laughs> Zane's gonna, gonna get drunk and just take it off. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but that's what makes it fun. I can do whatever I want with it. I get. <laughs> oh, yeah. God. Sure. What was your past jobs? What was your like your first jobs? David asked me this the other day. He was like, "Now, have you ever had a real job?" And I was like, "What the fuck do you think I'm doing for you?" Well, we know you've had a real <laughs> job, but what was your like your first job? Well, no, first well, because I like I graduated from college and I immediately moved out here. So it was like my first. My, I mean, I always babysat like through high school, through mm. college, and then in college, I was like a nanny for like a very, very, very wealthy family in Chicago. You still babysit now? I literally, I'm yeah. still applying those skills now. <laughs> um, but my first like real job, if you will, I worked for a salsa company, like salsa and chips. Oh. Mm-hmm. And it was a woman that she started her own salsa company. It was kind of like mom and pop shop, sort of. And she hired me. It was 15 bucks an hour, which was great. Whoa. Yeah. Good change. But I, only, I would only work for like two, three hours. In pesos. <laughs> <laughs> and I would, I would go to the, like, the local grocery stores where she would sell her salsa. And I would set up my table and booth. And I would like put salsa on a chip and like do salsa samples for people. Salsa and chips? At salsa and chips? Store. Oh, my gosh. That was like my first like real job. Interesting. Wow. That's pretty cool. That yeah. is pretty cool. That's yeah. a is lot of money Is it still popping, the salsa business? <clears throat> I think so. What was the name of it? Um... Uh, damn. Natalie. <laughs> that woman's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, Natalie, no, she's on, on. the edge of her seat. What was the name of it? <laughs> <laughs> no, you should find out and bring the chips and salsa back here. I'd love to try it. Okay, yeah, let me <laughs> fuck. <laughs> let me let me call. <laughs> How long were you working with them for? Um, probably like eight months in high school. Damn. Oh, it was a while yeah. ago. And that was it? That was the only other job? <laughs> I mean, like, I worked in the admissions office at school. David, I worked a real job. <laughs> <laughs> I passed out salsa <laughs> on <and> chips. <laughs> <laughs> I worked, I worked my fr- in freshman, I worked in the admissions office through high, or through college. And I remember my first, during freshman year, somehow I got paired with, like, the president of admissions or whatever. So I was, and he, like, didn't really do much. Um, and he would literally, like, I, I had no idea what I was doing either. And he just, like, told me what to do. And he would, like, hand me applications. And I would, like, review them and, like, help him approve them. Oh, then, some oh my gosh. So some people got in and didn't get in because of you? And my, my one of my really good friends, he was, like, str- he struggled through high school. And he, like, went through a bunch of stuff or whatever. But he went to a great high school and got, like, decent grades. And he wasn't getting into any schools. And he, like, called he me. slides his into the- <laughs> No, I literally, like, I, like, put, I, like. I was like, well, if you like apply, I could, like probably oh, help. Oh shit. my no! god, Natalie! So, like, I <laughs> well, I at least she's not anything. denying people on purpose. She, it's, it's. Well, no, you're just passing it along. You're not sitting there with the stamp. Chairman, chairman of the college. No, no, no. But I like he he submitted his application. And I like, told the guy like to put in a good word, and. 
then he gave him inter- an interview but like the interview once you took got an interview at my school it wasn't like a hard school to get into so once you got yeah. an interview like you pretty much like got in <laughs> um but yeah so i like helped him get in he's like forever he like still texts me about it to this day he was like so grateful damn just oh, changing no. lives that's awesome yeah you know and that was the last job you had before coming out here um yeah like and then i like i nannied did you ever see any bad applications tons oh my god well the school i went to is like it's like a small school in chicago so there's a lot of like rural kids from around town whatever that'll apply like i didn't get like the best grades in high school and i got in with like pretty much like a full ride like scholarship like they'd be right. really <laughs> <laughs> it's a great school no like uh, go foresters um <laughs> I'm, like shitting on it um no it's like a, it's a great school but like they like they have they have like it's actually a really big like international department wow There's tons of international kids to come it's a small school there's like uh, like three thousand kids and went. What are they? Oh what's gosh, like the you know, three thousand kids? That's so tiny. Yeah, it was like my high school. Oh wow! Yeah. Do they so, have like a special department in there that people fly in for to go? Um, they like we have like a big international. Well, oh, oh like, no, I fucking hate. Her? That's why I don't. That's why I don't talk. Because every time I say something, I, I hear a, and then I look at Matt and he's just like. <laughs> it's like being in fucking middle school with this kid. No, <laughs> like, no, like, no, he's he's my abuser. He's no, my he's bully. Like, it's my it's my imagination where I'm thinking about what is this special department. Like, it's not. It's, like, my, it's like my, a special it's, like you word like, things in like very bizarre. I know. Yeah. I know. I know. Yeah. I know. And I like there's nothing I can do. I have dyslexia. Okay. And I, I don't okay, know. And I'm not making fun. I, it was just me. Like I, <laughs> I know. But you have to just see what I'm seeing every time I do it. It's the worst. It's the I need worst. to just be like. Or or he'll give me one of these. (laughs) (laughs) Zane can see it out of the corner of his eye. Just this movement. You you guys should see me every time. Every time. No, wait. Every time I look. Sorry, sorry. So what was the special? (laughs) (laughs) Every time. If you look at the camera and see every time I look that way and I see him do that, I start sweating (laughs) profusely. (laughs) And I have to try to continue talking. And I'm just thinking about the bullshit that's happening. <laughs> oh shit! Okay. Give me, give me an African, give me a towel. Oh, <coughs> We're gonna take a short break. I'm having a panic attack. <laughs> Drum roll, please, for the next sponsor of today's episode. This episode is sponsored by SeatGeek. Yeah, yeah, baby. SeatGeek is an amazing app that makes oh, buying tickets. Okay, calm it down, Dobrik. Try it again. SeatGeek is a ticketing app that makes buying tickets super simple. And live events are back, which means you can get $20 off tickets at SeatGeek.com when you use promo code UNFILTERED. Guys, you know SeatGeek is always the way to go. It's the only ticketing app that we use and that we love. It's just so simple. Lollapalooza is coming up, a festival in Chicago, and we use SeatGeek to buy those tickets. And whether it's concerts, baseball, basketball, football, Festivals, whatever it is, SeatGeek takes all the tickets and puts it on one hub to make buying it so much easier. And SeatGeek rates every ticket from zero to 10 to make sure you're getting the best deal. Green dots are good deals and red dots are a little bit overpriced. And every ticket on SeatGeek is backed by their buyer guarantee, which means you can shop with confidence. And Lord knows we need confidence. So don't worry, baby. We got the hookup. Use code UNFILTERED for $20 off your tickets at SeatGeek. That's $20 off your first purchase with promo code UNFILTERED. You can visit www.seatgeek.com com or you can download the SeatGeek app. Again, use code UNFILTERED for $20 off your first SeatGeek order. Visit www.seatgeek.com. Thank you, SeatGeek, for sponsoring today's episode. We love you so much. And, and thank you for giving everybody here $20 off. I meant, um, you know how FSU, uh, they, they, like, they have, what's the what fucking meant? word? International like, program? Like, no, not an like, international program. Foreign exchange. No, no, no. I know what you fucking meant. Let me put it into better yeah, words. Yeah, put it in better words for me. Put it in better words for me. This is my specialty. Okay. You meant like what is the school known for? Like what department? What yes. major? What like? Thank you. Damn. That's exactly what I meant, and I felt like you guys did too. But you what's like the biggest with concentration? Me. I don't know. <laughs> like what school? Like my, so, I mean, my school is really small. Like you go to like Florida State, you have like a doctoral program, you have the engineering department, you have the math, you know, all that shit. Well, yeah. We didn't. I mean, we had that. We had departments, but we were known for well, international relations was huge because we had such a big international community. Mm-hmm. And then honestly, like, like bio and the sciences was like another big one. Got and it. You, okay. Thank you. You did animal. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Did you do animal behavioral sciences or something? Jeez. No, I wish that sounds really cool. What'd I, you, what'd you say <laughs> on my podcast that one time? Psychology. Oh, but you wanted to get with it. Never mind. <laughs> she wanted to get, wanted to with, get, get with a guy that animals. was in. What? Oh. Say, get, give it back to him. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Animal behavior. Like uh, no, let me say it. What are you wiping your legs down for? Because I'm fucking, I'm dying of sweat. Oh my god. I just god. have so many questions. Are you okay? <laughs> so psychology and environmental science. Those are my two majors. 
but we i did, started we did environmental science too oh yeah. nice that's cool oh yeah you guys had like a whole high school our environmental. whole school was, was mag- literally our magnet program was environmental yeah, science yeah, yeah, I remember it was all it was awful Oh. Hated it. That I didn't was... mind it. I, I'm like right. really like outdoorsy. I like that type of shit. So uh-huh. I didn't like mind it. Yeah. I um, I some of the that. teachers I didn't really care for because uh, <laughs> they were like way too serious about oh, this. Oh, call them out. Environmental science for my high school was just like another science class you could take. Like there was like chemistry, bio, mm-hmm. environmental science, mm-hmm. and then they had like one specifically for the ocean. They had like so yeah, many different yeah. sciences that you can take. Yeah. I, I liked it just because we Zoology. got to take a lot of field trips. Yeah, that's the best part. Even in college, it was mm-hmm. every Friday. We had Monday, Wednesday, Friday classes, and every Friday you would take a field trip. This is the best part. It was every mm-hmm. Friday? Damn, we didn't get that. Yeah. We, were, well, <laughs> we, didn't, we like, didn't have that kind of budget. Yeah. Ours Remember, was like every few months we'd have a little <laughs> field trip. Well, I'm in college. I'm paying like 50 grand a year to go to this school. So it's like, <gasps> I can't uh, believe a field how much trip college is. Good. Yeah. It's so crazy. My sister is, she's going to be a senior in high school and she's applying looking at colleges and whatnot she wants to come to california of course because mm-hmm. i'm here or whatever and she's like i can hang out with you every weekend i was like i think when you're in college you're not gonna really care to hang out with me. <laughs> um but it's like so interesting because my my dad is obviously like he always wanted me to go to college and i didn't have any other like i didn't know any other options i like wanted to go too and he's like pushing her to go but she's like you know she kind of has like a little instagram following now she's a little youtube channel you know she's like doing this she like that's mm-hmm. what she wants to do because that's yeah. the cool shit is like be a youtuber be an influencer or whatever but it's like so many people want to do that now so it's like how do you it's i don't know it's still like tough yeah. my parents are like you still have to go to school and like mm-hmm. try yeah. it out mm-hmm. but it's possible know. but it's course, hard. Like she sees editing, me doing filming. it so she's like if natalie can do it then i want to do it you know i'm so curious like what i would think of that as a profession if i was younger like coming into this now mm-hmm. like people are like i want to be an influencer when i get older like that's yeah. that blows my yeah. mind like that, that that is a career path mm-hmm. it's crazy to me because it looks so attractive as a kid like you that's all you watch all you see is you see people gifting <clears throat> lambos and giving away money yeah and like, <laughs> like i, mean, I just it like it's crazy it's like the coolest fucking job but it's like yeah. how do you get there it's hard. Like you can't right. just yeah. teach someone, okay, here is how you become an influencer, X, right. Y, and Z, A, B, C, do it. Because I feel like all the, like, marketing classes in college, like, it's just not... Right. They don't... I don't think they get it. Unless you're in it. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, it's about, a bunch like, of, like, move the needle people. Yeah. You know I'm what I mean? I'm just trying to think about a professor who was, like, teaching, like, how to be an influencer. Right, like, right. what's up, guys? <laughs> this is my class. And they're like, no. see, guys, I make content. <laughs> they just have to stay, stay, stay like up with the times like mm-hmm. yeah do you think colleges would ever come up with like a like these are the courses you need to take to be a youtuber like do you think they'll they ever do oh, oh, they do, yes. they do yeah, that already they do so have weird that. that's crazy i feel like the only thing you could teach to do that is like like improv how to like talk to a camera but yeah like be good at but speech. they can't be like if you post monday wednesday friday you're gonna do great like it's it's literally it's hit or miss mm-hmm. right or like it takes years to build yeah yeah like it's not easy well, it's also like you don't like teach someone to be an influencer or to like to be creative. Like, I feel it's like just it's, something that it's like your own will. That you yeah, right. you, you can't do. make the opportunity. You have a, to catch it. Like, yeah. I don't know. Like, there's a hundred different ways. Because you were just saying, like, all, like take improv. Like, sometimes you don't even need that. You just need yeah. editing. How to edit a video, and you can pretty much do anything right. else. Because you don't need to talk in a video. You can like make videos. It's pretty uh, crazy. No. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Photography. Learn how to use a camera. Yeah, you can learn all those skills that will help. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We'll save Good it for luck another episode. There. Future we'll teach YouTubers. you how to be a YouTuber. So go for it. Masterclass, four hundred dollars a month. Hey, Sign up. Go. We'll teach you. Nice Join, my <laughs> Join my academy. Join my academy. Unfiltered university. We post there once a month, like once a month. <laughs> be four hundred dollars a month. Yeah, don't take anything we say. Yeah, <laughs> please don't. <laughs> oh, shit. So if you guys didn't know, I'm sure you all saw it already. Natalie, Natalie's uh, Sports Illustrated swim issue came out. Is that did I say it right? <laughs> swimsuit edition. Sw- swimsuit edition issue. Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue. Yeah, I think so. There you go. Good job. There you go. Her ah. special edition. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's your program with that? Uh, yeah, my little. Congratulations. Yeah, that was sister. So sick. I remember the day you told us. What was that? In like March or February when you? Yeah, in, in March. March is when they announced me, and that's when I like made that TikTok. Yeah, and everything. that was really cool. That is yeah. so insane. Did you get like just a cold email out of nowhere and you're like whoa holy shit no it was actually like actually david is one that pointed out to me that they like ran a poll on their instagram being like what insta baddie do you want to see in the next issue <gasps> and like a bunch of people were like natalie 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 just like that yeah. damn wow, the people's that's even choice cooler. yeah which is weird because i feel like our fan base is so young that like right. i don't know if those people even buy magazines or whatever yeah so that was like really cool that they all like nominated me and whatnot and then David was like, did you know you were on like Sports Illustrated's Instagram today? And I was like, what? 
And I went and looked and like saw the pole <gasps> or whatever. My heart would have. That's so cool. I know. Oh. It was skipped so, a beat. So cool. And I saw it and I was just like, I DM'd them. I was like, oh my God, this would be so crazy if it actually happened. <laughs> imagine. Manifesting. Oh my God, imagine. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, it'd be so cool. <laughs> so they, they saw your DM, but not the other girl. So they're just like, well, we got to pick Natalie, right? <laughs> <laughs> and then I think. Um, there's other Sports Illustrated girls that are rep by my same management company. Mm -hmm. So I told, I sent it to my manager, obviously, because I was like, this would be fucking insane. Like, yeah. we have to, like, do something about this. Yeah. And so she, like, messaged Sports Illustrated, and they were like, yeah, like, we're going through the process right now of, like, selecting the women for the issue, blah, blah, blah. And then, like, a month or two later, she got the email being like, we'd like to move the conversation forward about Natalie. <gasps> And whatnot. And my manager didn't tell me any of this because she didn't want to get my hopes up because it was just like you never such know, a maybe. Yeah. yeah. And um, then she was like, hey, they want to actually have a conversation with you. The editor wants to. And I don't really know this, the hierarchy of like magazines yeah. and stuff and whatnot. And so she said the editor. And I was like, OK, like I thought there was like somebody that just like works in the magazine. Right. But the editor in chief, her name's MJ Day. And she runs the fucking show. Like, she is Sports Damn. Illustrated Swimsuit. Oh, wow. And so I got on a Zoom call with her. And, like, I did not realize what I was, like, I didn't had no idea. That's probably, like, that's should I put on a swimsuit? <laughs> like, act like I'm the pool? Like, it's probably good you didn't know either. Well, I know. I mean, like, like, I still, like, I still, pre like, the night before of that Zoom call, I yeah. like, prepped questions. Like, because I was, like, okay, this is, like, an interview. Like, why am I the right fit for Sports Illustrated to run? <laughs> <laughs> I like, like it was like I literally practiced like it was like an interview. You had to sell it. Yeah, and this was like back when we lived at Terry View, and everybody was over all the time. So I literally went in my car and I took the Zoom call with her, and <laughs> she was like, "I was like, sorry, I'm in the car. Just like if anything, I don't want anyone to know anything about the fact that like I might be in the, like this opportunity." Uh -huh. She was like, "No worries," and she was like so kind. And like before I could even like get my next like sentence out, she was like. She's like, I don't even want to beat around the bush or anything. Like, pack your bags. You're coming to Florida. Wow. Oh, my God. What a great That's thing to hear. so insane. All that preparation. <laughs> I know, I you don't like, want to hear my like, questions, though? <laughs> no, it's good. I can tell you why I'm a good fit. It's like, I have Literally. a binder that I prepared. No. <laughs> Were you like, do I pack a swimsuit? Or are you guys giving me Matt, one like swimsuit. right when I get there? When do you wear the swimsuit? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was so nervous. That I, like, I didn't even know what to say. Or like, I was like, oh, my God. I was just like I just kept saying oh my god oh my god <laughs> over and over again but and she and it was just like a simple like a, like just like that and then they got in I had no idea after and then the, like the zoom call was over and I was like okay like it's happening and I called my manager and she like got more details and then um the first week of January I went and like did my shoot and I had like no I had no expectations I had no idea what I was getting myself into at all and I've never ever ever done like an editorial shoot like that before ever yeah. so are you like googling like how oh, model how swimsuit, swimsuit post how just just to or be like, like swimsuit model vlog like did any of these girls <laughs> vlog, yeah. <laughs> vlog at all in their last issue? well they have like a YouTube channel which is just like the highlights from previous shoots and whatnot so I just watched that like like mm. what can poses be and whatnot but like there's no way to prepare for something like that right. yeah. unless you have like experience it's literally just like doing it over and over again and my like mentality when I like do stuff is like don't think about it and then when you get there you just like do it yeah <laughs> because if I think about it I'll just like panic and freak out and so when I got there and Reggie came with me too which was mm -hmm. like really great because at first I didn't know if they were gonna let me bring somebody because it was COVID and like there were so many like strict precautions and everything um, but they let me bring Reggie because I was like, he'll shoot content. And like, like I was like, oh, oh that's like, all yeah. Yeah. perfect. He's my like, him. Perfect. Actor. <laughs> yeah. And so he came with me and like, I just like showed up to the hotel and like, they're like, okay, come down for your fitting. You know, it was just very so fast. That's yeah. So it was crazy. just, it was like, oh this. my god. I mean, gosh. I was there for 48 hours and like came down to the fitting at like 7 PM, tried on like 50 different bikinis and then 50. Yeah. Like, <laughs> was it, it like, nerve wracking or was it just like, like exciting? Just like, I had no, I like, and like like you're just you like you can't like just overwhelmed yeah, i would have blacked like, out the whole time <laughs> it yeah. wouldn't have hit me until like they they yelled cut you're good and i had I'm no like, idea if i was like doing the right things i was like should i be like when i showed up to the hotel i like went to my hotel room and i was like sitting there for a couple of hours i was like should i be doing something like i don't know what yeah. i'm doing <laughs> it's like a like trying on like outfits like in a movie where it's like you try it on you come out and they're like you just what i want you got no, no, no. <laughs> 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 were they giving you like wacky bikinis or like were they like going we're just want you to wear just like seashell necklaces and nothing <laughs> <laughs> like, like nothing on top no they were like i feel like they were <laughs> nervous <laughs> do you have a bikini 
of the issues. No, yeah, you've, seen, how, you've seen some of the issues, right? So what, they're crazy what, what, what outfits sometimes. Well, describe the bikini now that we're here. Yeah. Well, like, when you were a kid, you know, you got your hands on a Sports Illustrated magazine. Yeah. Oh. But sometimes He's I was... Like, yeah. But sometimes Matt had his hands on something else. <laughs> but sometimes well, I, would, I would always look at the magazines and be like, where are these girls going in these bikinis? Like, where is this happening? They're like, sometimes they're like, just tying it. Like, it's not <laughs> even... Like, like, it's not even fully tied. It's like, open. Like, I'm yeah. like, they're on the beach. <laughs> it's like the back of them and they're just holding the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I feel like they were, they were kind of nervous as they like, I'd never done anything and they knew that like they were like oh we thought we were gonna have to like give you pointers and tips and like coach you through the whole thing and like they didn't know how like skimpy i wanted to go and like whatever but i was like i'm here i'm doing it. i'm going all yeah. in like yeah. I'm not whatever gonna... you guys want i'll do yeah, it yeah exactly and so i tried on a bunch of bikinis and actually my favorite was the little glittery purple one that i posted mm -hmm. yes and that wasn't even on my rack because they thought it was going to be like too small for my liking and but I kept passing it. I would go to the fitting area and I would like pass the glittery purple bikini. I was like, oh my god, I want to try that freaking bikini on. But I didn't have the balls to be like, can I try that one on? And at the end, and keep me keep in mind, like every time I come out, they're like, oh my god, you're so hot. Yeah. Like, they just cheer oh me off. Like, I would have been on. And you're just looking nine. at Reggie. And you're like, is it good? <laughs> yeah, right. You need to tell me, Reggie. Reggie will <laughs> tell you the truth. I know, but they like. I mean, like, it's like it's like like an undescribable experience. Like you just feel like you're literally on cloud nine. Like what? you don't. Feel any better I feel like my confidence confident. would just oh 100 percent. What was the most expensive bikini you tried on? Oh, I have no idea. I don't even oh, know. There what were no brands. price tags on it. You're yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like this one. Yeah. Yeah. Did they let you take any of them home? They like asked me if I wanted. Like they were they would mail all of them to me. I like mm -hmm. I should probably follow up on that. I should probably like get you them. Get it? Yeah. Yeah. I took one, one home. Like, <laughs> little picture box what are they called a shadow box a shadow box yeah just like hang it on your wall. wall no literally that purple one was there a, or there wasn't body paint in this issue right i don't think so not that i've oh. seen no they've done that in the past <laughs> nah, yeah. there's no body paint there how many how many magazines they, do you have there, it, they did do body paint in sports illustrated Our, back in the day we're not denying it you're just like crazy. but i'm like it's not a swimsuit <laughs> now the body the paint <laughs> Matt writes a letter in. Uh, that's not a swimsuit. Um, it's body paint. That is... What do you guys think of a, a seashell top? <laughs> now, okay. now, 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 shells for summer. Groundbreaking. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, at what point then uh, in the process where they were like, oh my God, looks great. We're going to take photos, but we need you to walk the runway. Was that oh. like agreed upon in the beginning in like no, the car interview no, or did they just kind of like uh, oh, toss you thought you the that shoot one? was it? I thought the shoot was completely just it. That was all I was going to do. The magazine would come out and there was a launch party. That's all I knew. And then they asked me like probably like th like three weeks before the runway. They were like, hey, would you want to come down and do swim week? And blah, blah, blah. And I was like course why would yeah. i not want to do that Are reggie clear the hallway <laughs> <laughs> i need to practice <laughs> no i really like i didn't even i was trying to practice and every time single time reggie would just like make fun of me so i was just like fuck it i'm just gonna get there and just do it just yeah. do it yeah were you scared but, to fall oh 100 when we did the it rained all day like in miami like in the runways outside so the it was soaking wet and the um right before <laughs> What? I just, you know, the videos you see where they're yeah. like, they're, 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 they're like <laughs> their ankles in, are, right? that was yeah. literally Wait, me. it was soaking wet at a swimsuit runway show, though? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're, <laughs> but, what? What do you mean? Sounds like a good time. Oh, It's not God. a slip and slide freaking wet t-shirt <laughs> <Wet t -shirt laughs> contest. <laughs> Matt, Ew, <laughs> imagine Matt in the audience. <laughs> oh my <laughs> God. Just like, did literally. they have him like heels? <laughs> oh, you were barefoot, but did they have certain, like anybody in heels at all? Like no. on a wet, oh, okay. No, 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 no one had to be in heels, Flip -flops? thank God. No, ew, what the fuck? Were you barefoot? Questions? Yeah, you're barefoot. No. Matt's got the heavy hitters that I... <laughs> yeah, Matt's like feet and bikinis. Well, uh, water shoes. Like, <laughs> it's all over the toes. <laughs> Boat slip on. Oh, my God. We did the rehearsal, um, like, before the actual show. So I was, like, in my robe or whatever. And... Um, that was when I was like the most nervous, like doing it for the first time because I'd never walked around before and that was gonna be my first time. Mm -hmm. And it was soaking wet and there was like a plastic tarp on it. So I literally, I couldn't even walk straight because it was just so slippery. They dried it before the show, which I didn't know they were gonna do. And I was like, I'm not gonna be able to like, I can't even walk. It was like literally slipping. It was a tarp you were walking on? 
No, they, took the, they, oh, they were trying to keep it dry, sorry, sorry, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah to keep it dry. Fault. And then for the, like the actual show, it was a lot better. And there was honestly like when you get out there, there's so many lights and like cameras flashing that I didn't, I couldn't see a single person in the audience. Oh, so nice. I felt like I was like alone. Oh, yeah. that's, that's good. good. Which was it made it like. Were you so worried you were gonna get like the hiccups during it though? <laughs> no. <laughs> you God. come down going. Not like most of No, her hiccup is. Hiccup. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, no. I, I was like, when I did the rehearsal, I was so nervous. I was like, I felt like faint, like I was going to pass out. Oh, wow. Oh, because yeah. you couldn't, like, there was no flashing lights or anything, so you just thought you would see it. Yeah, you had, like, all the media people were standing there, like, still taking photos and stuff. Oh, okay. And, like, I just had to, like, that was the first time I'd ever actually walked. It was the most, like, nerve-wracking. Yeah. Thing. Was there any tension, like, between the models where it's like, I'm going to go out and I'm going to do, like, a hair flip and, like, a pose. And they were like, that's what I was going to do. <laughs> and no, I, like, think, I think everybody, like, kind of does, like, some of the same stuff. Oh, okay. But everyone's so, like, support. That's the best part is, like, literally everybody there is, like, different shape, size, whatever. And, like, everyone just, like, loves each other. It's, like, really weird. Cool. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. nobody even really knows each other. We all come together for the same thing. So it's just, like, yeah. so constant support. And, and, and oh, I love that. It's a lot that. of your guys' first time, too. So I'm sure you guys were giving a lot of, like, support to each other. And Yeah, exactly. Really. That is so cool. Yeah. yeah. I am so proud of you. Yeah, like, good it's job, so man. cool. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, it's definitely, like, the coolest thing I've done. And seeing ever. all those people, like, seeing the videos, there, it looked like there's a thousand people there. It was fucking insane. I know. There was a lot of people. I was, I, I was like, surprised. I didn't know it was going to be like I that. thought for some reason, I thought it was going to be this, like, like really seated. intimate private show where Same. it's, like, a one line. Same. And then. Yeah. So do you want to do more like that? Like, is um, this, like. Maxim Hot 100. <laughs> Maxim. You know, Matt was like really rooting for the Maxim thing. <laughs> I was I was always like rooting like it would be so awesome. Now oh yeah, that was Maxim Hot One Hundred, and then she booked Sports Illustrated. I was like, well, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, I feel like like the modeling thing is really cool, and like I had so much fun on this on the shoot, but I also feel like that crew of people is like so unique and like there's like 15 people that are just cheering you on and like you're the hottest you're so hot you're like they just like they make you feel so wow, cool. wow. Yeah. yeah yeah i feel like you don't come across that in that industry a lot yeah no not at all yeah wow. and i feel like you perform a lot better when you just have that like yeah. people ch chanting you and cheering you on like totally that. i was gonna yeah. say speaking of filming and taking pics of people in bikinis mm -hmm. i want you to tell <laughs> your your cousin Oh yeah, my cousin was at the beach mm -hmm. and um, she's, she's a cop, she's a detective. And she saw this guy with a camcorder and he was filming girls or she thought he was filming girls like at first. Right. So she went up and approached him and he was like, I'm filming the ocean. He got like super defensive. She was like, he was like, I'm filming the water. And she was like, why don't you move closer? He was so far away from the water. Right. And then she like sat behind him and she looked at the viewfinder and he was zooming in on girls. Oh yeah. shit. So she went up and approached him and he he left. He had to leave. She said, show me the footage. But it's so funny that she's a cop. Like she was in like, a bikini approaching this <laughs> I'm guy. I'm a cop. Yeah. And she's like kind of little. Like, <laughs> oh, a cop. Yeah. A cop. Sure you are, sweetheart. <laughs> Wait, but so she, she wasn't in uniform. She wasn't like on no, duty. No, she was just uh, in her She has suit. her badge yeah. clipped to her yeah. badge. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of show is this? <laughs> That's like I'm a water noodle like wrapped around the Damn, bucket. so she couldn't like actually do anything about it in the moment. Like, no. all just that sucks lyrics. that there's nothing you could do because that's so fucked up. Well, I mean, most yeah, people would do would would probably fight him, snatch his camera, do something like that, just like right. just to. But some people, you know, she obviously can't do anything because she's a, she, you know she's a cop, so she can't actually fucking do anything oh about man it. that sucks did you see any creepy people at all though oh, uh, I just guess. you matt just <laughs> 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 nice matt very good matt one oh, point for you boom boom we should have, we should have a, matt, we should have a point uh point board like a point scoreboard <laughs> every time someone makes a good matt joke you put zero. a gold star next to oh, it oh i was yeah. like what's the points for <laughs> <laughs> we should have a point board <laughs> and then if it's a bad one a demerit what are the black no talking for five ones? minutes matt but we all have to hear it though Right. Story <laughs> of my life. <laughs> I would get zero stars because nobody The amount of jokes that Mariah makes while we're recording and I don't hear it till the episode is on YouTube is oh. fucking... It's not, I can't believe it. Yeah. The I'll comments, it, I like, heard your joke, Mariah. <laughs> I also have tunnel vision too. Like, I can't focus on anything. Yeah. Um, but So now the issue's out, the show is done. Is it still ongoing? Like, do you, are you like now like a, yeah, a Miss America? Yeah. Like, do you yeah, have to go the, and like... What's she's next? in the band. I, <laughs> that's a really good question. I think... Um, I mean, I have the launch party this weekend which is really cool oh, like cool. all the girls and like the cover models like Meg Thee Stallion I think will be there <gasps> oh uh, nice. is it here in LA Michael Phelps it's in Florida Meg Thee Stallion, Meg Thee Stallion. Oh, Michael I, Phelps I couldn't hear it sorry Meg <laughs> fought Meg he, thought, he thought swimming <laughs> I get it I get it putting them together I would have done I would have done that <laughs> um, oh did you guys guess that like Megan the Fox Megan the Stallion no okay Megan I thought that was funny Megan the Fox <laughs> Megan the Stallion 
Um, I don't know what happens. The choo -choo we're losing train. it, people. We're losing it. Let her it. finish her sentence. Hey, fine, fine. Hey. You know, I don't know what happens like after. I don't know if there's like more things to come up. I think the calendar comes out. And, like if you can like, I think there's other opportunities you can be selected for throughout cool. the year. Are you a month? No, I, I mean, I have no idea. I'm just saying like, I think there are other, are other opportunities and it depends like if they select you when that time comes, like same thing with the runway. Like you get, like, it's just like whatever they want you to do. Okay. So you cool. haven't looked into what other, well, Wait, I don't do, know. Do, do the month, is that correspondent to the model's birth month? I or I mean, do you just get like you're asking me too many questions? I don't know the answer. Dude. I don't think they're that specific. I think they just throw on whatever fits yeah. in every month. okay or whatever the theme of your bikini. Like my theme when when I went down, like I had four girls that are part of like my story and the issue, and we're like the neon story. So oh. that's why a lot of my bikinis were all neon. Oh yeah, other girls are like cool. earth tones. Other girls are like glitter or whatever. You know, it's just yeah. Chill. Watch out, Frankies. We got Natalina. Frankies, Natalinas. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty. That'd be Could cool. be like a cute little like beach surf shop that yeah. you sell them out of, and like, I like pop that. ups, I like that. an old like uh, Venice, surfer you know? band, like the Malibu like surf pier. They have, they have like the little like niche brands in there. That'd be cool. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, in the works, you're guys. My idol. <laughs> Big things coming for Natalina. Yeah, big things coming. Sure. Zane will model it for sure. Oh, 100 percent. I'll do the bottoms, bottoms only. That'd be funny. You and I could just do it together, like a mm -hmm. beach shoot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I'll flip mine around because the butt part is bigger. Yeah. Oh, oh my. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't want to see the rear. <laughs> <laughs> just thonged out. <laughs> just the whole thong is brown. Oh god, that's gross. Oh, hey, you love yourself. Demerit. 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 <laughs> No talking for five minutes from you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a fun game. Well, you're very inspiring. That. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Mar Mar Mariah's DMing uh, Sports Illustrated. Ooh, do a pull with me. <laughs> do a pull with me. <laughs> I'll share it. They're like, that's not how it works. <laughs> what? Do a pull with you and Beyonce. <laughs> like, yeah, sure. Uh... We'll put you in a pull. <laughs> <laughs> well, you thanks. push it hard, you win. <laughs> like it's a senior Mariah would just go down the runway I would doing just like tumble. backflips, stumble. <laughs> They'd be like, okay. Okay. It's not really the look we're going here for, Mariah. <laughs> You're like, falling out. You're falling out. Mariah's just posing like so fast. Like, like can you slow down? Like <laughs> That's funny. Natalie, I feel like after the entire experience, you're just glowing. You look so great. Oh, and thanks. it's just going to like transcend into everything you do. Yeah, I have a feeling <laughs> you've been using a lot of Roman lately, have you? Roman and Roy skincare, is that why you're glowing? Yeah. <laughs> well, that brings us to our next uh, sponsor, Roman. <laughs> and Rory. Taking care of your skin is important. Whether it's dullness, redness, fine lines, or breakouts, it's hard to find the right treatment. And now, there's a simpler, smarter solution with Roman Nightly Defense. Roman has the guys covered, and Rory the girls. And they make it as convenient as possible to get customized prescription skincare. It's as easy as grabbing your phone or computer and completing a free online consultation and you'll hear from a doctor in less than 24 hours. And if appropriate, a US licensed physician is going to give you a perfectly custom treatment that arrives in just two days. With free shipping. Plus, we've got an offer just for you. With the link below, your first skin treatment is just $5. That's a $75 value for just $5. Baby, the link will be in the description box below. It's free to chat with the doctor and your first order is going to be just five dollars make sure to click the link in the description to take advantage of this great offer eligibility requirements and additional terms may apply Ooh, let me get, let me uh, get some uh-uh baby you can use the link in the description below just like they are well thank you roman for sponsoring today's episode we love you and we love all your products baby we love the way you make me feel <laughs> okay okay all right yes. don't point yes. at me when you say pirates are <laughs> you ready kids all right i am <laughs> captain you can't oh. see me my time is now <laughs> You guys get your good laughing? Yeah. <laughs> look at this thing. Look at this cone. <laughs> it does look like a Madonna boob. <laughs> Argy, matey. All right. Are you done? <laughs> <laughs> Why am I joining in? <laughs> you so it, like it's not black on the other it's just like staticky, you said? Like what do you see? Well yeah, it's weird. Like looking I it's blurry with this eye now, but this one just feels like a, a static TV. Cause I get a little bit of light in and it's just kinda like fuzzy. I'm all right. I got What's this. What's the difference between a pirate and Hijazi? <laughs> a pirate only has one eye. <laughs> nice. Get it? Okay. My it was uh, Demerit. 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 Give him a Demerit. Demerit. <laughs> Anybody else I, got I any good pirate jokes? You want to hook up? <laughs> oh. 
Uh, Matt, I got a joke Ignores for you. me. <laughs> <laughs> Were you talking to me? I literally can't see anybody. <laughs> if you're looking at me, I have no idea. You Who think Natalie asked to hook up? Look <laughs> <laughs> like if I know. <laughs> The way you were looking at that video you were editing, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> nice. Um, okay, here we go. I don't. Know, I don't remember where I saw this, but I just saw it. Uh, what's the difference between <laughs> Dubai and Abu Dhabi? I'm not sure, Heath. What is the difference? Uh, I don't know. Okay. So. <laughs> okay, they don't know. Um, I got him. I got him. I don't know either. <laughs> In Dubai, they don't like the Flintstones, but. Abu Dhabi do. <laughs> what the hell, oh my God, Brian? I'm embarrassed for you. Demerit. Oh my God. No, I, I, no, that was good. It's cute. Half star. That was good. It's cute. Natalie, want to hook up? That was good. That's my third time hearing that joke, and I it's still funny. I, I don't know, it like, still it's hits. Good. It's cute. It I gets like me. It. it gets me. Everyone else is laughing. The whole. The whole... <laughs> How's your house going? <laughs> How's it going? I, <laughs> yeah. Well, it is still standing. Uh, no, I, I actually literally just finished it like two weeks ago. Oh, like wow. decorating it wise? Yeah, like I finally got all my oh, couches really? and like beds and like, you know, extra Are shit. Are you going to do a house tour? Yeah, I think so. That'd be fun. You should. Oh my God. I still it's so hard to furnish an entire house. It was tough. It takes forever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, didn't, I mean, I didn't have that many rooms and like I already had like bedroom furniture, so I didn't have to my bedroom. It was just like the living room spaces. But it's finally done. What's your so. style? It's fine. My front room is like all white, very minimalist. And then you go into my back room and I like pink fireplace, pink piano, pink, pink, pink. Oh, like fun. Thrown it's everywhere. like minimal with personality. Yeah. yeah like your like closet that. is like, insane. Yeah. I, like it, she has a whole guest house. It's, it, it's our it's closet. It's my closet. It's fucking Oh, that's cool. Nice. That's like the reason why I bought the house. Like I had that like extra like because it has like two little guest house in mm -hmm. the back. And like one is like my mom would always come and visit and like my mom and david are like friends and have known each other but like every time she comes she's like i'm staying for three days for a long weekend she stays for like two months and, he's like, <laughs> and she's like oh yeah, yeah. families love doing that shit. oh yeah and she's like and it's like Dave. i was living with david so like my mom would be like there in the morning and he'd like wake up and he'd be like no like when you're your mom leaving <laughs> <laughs> but now like i have my own space she can come whenever she wants yeah. and like i just have like Read. I can walk around in my underwear. I couldn't do that at like David's house, which is like it's like a big thing. Like I feel yeah. like for anybody. Oh yeah, because like, you're always like on camera, pretty much. Because he's always, I mean, he's or, always or around. Just like, or like, like when he's David. living there, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, you're the dude. Um, no, but, but like, you're always on. Like when David, you're living with David, it's always on. No, yeah, it's, but it's, it's also somewhere. like a personal thing. <laughs> it's just literally like I don't want him to see me in my underwear. Yeah, <laughs> it's so funny to like see More like, so like, on the camera. It's so funny to see like your your glow up from like the beginning of you being introduced in the vlogs. Like you never wanted to talk oh you didn't like, want to talk to didn't any of us i was like she hates us she hates us she hates us like, <laughs> well, just like even in the videos like you just like you didn't want to be very them, quiet yeah. just like didn't want to like yeah well i feel like that's just like that's just like a me thing and that's like anybody now, even when i like go out now like like when i'm with you guys i'm obviously like the most comfortable but if i meet somebody new like i am like so shy and quiet i feel like you're really like i feel like you're very sociable now like i feel like you broke out of that well, shyness stage. now like i like now i know so many people but like if i'm like in a new environment like i'm always super quiet yeah and that's like like when i did my shoot with si when i first met them and did the shoot that was the mm -hmm. first time i had met them and everything and i was like super scared and like reserved didn't really talk much typical and then when i went back to do the runway stuff yeah i was at like the clubs like the strip club 11 <laughs> till like Ooh. four in the morning with like the tea or whatever and I, we were having like the best time they're like oh my god we didn't know you like hung out whatever. <laughs> <laughs> i was like yeah <laughs> <laughs> but yeah i know i don't know that's just like i don't know that's the beauty of getting to know me i'm trying i'm trying to figure <laughs> out what like what was the, what, what what event made her like kind of spring out there was like a point in time like i was in a long distance relationship for a really long time mm -hmm. and then i wasn't anymore and then i started like when when i like ended that relationship i like went hard into like working and that's when i like that's when i just like started to be in the vlogs more i was going out with david and i was like i was like 24 7 in the vlogs we were yeah. making like two three vlogs a week and like i feel like that's when i like started hanging out with you guys more and i was just like integrated into more of the content so i was yeah. like i got a lot more comfortable like really quickly mm -hmm. so. it's crazy because like we're, we're you know we're all very close now but like i it's hard for me to remember that awkward stage where you're yeah. in the house but like you weren't talking to anybody <laughs> yeah. i can't like there's not one oh. ounce of like memory that oh, i have, I have a of that awkward i have a memory stage. of like walking in and you and reggie had like just finished decorating the house and y'all were on the couch like hi yeah. <laughs> It yeah. was, oh, they no. were always on the couch. Like, you guys did this? You're like, yeah, we did. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. No, I remember, awesome. like, I remember at um, Bellingham, I would literally, like, 
I was so shy and so uncomfortable and I thought that I was like I didn't understand why David would go to somebody else's house to like do work I was like you have a great home like why don't we just stay there and do our shit and but he would always go to Bellingham and be surrounded by everybody and I was like so scared so I would literally go there was like a back room like behind the kitchen back there yeah, yeah. And I would literally oh, go yeah. sit in there I would like I would like close the door I'd be like oh my god phew like I don't have to talk to anybody I was like so nervous <laughs> oh my wait, god wait that room was funny. filthy though that room had like so it much had shit one, in it it had one couch though where you it, could like kind of uh, just yeah, it had, chill it was yeah. the only other couch in the house that was like remotely okay and like comfortable and i would like even <laughs> david would be in the front room and i would be in the back and i'd be like be doing my work and i'd close the door so nobody could see me but i would literally like i would like take a nap <laughs> <laughs> and he would have no idea because he'd be busy editing for like yeah. hours but that was like that was like my i would get so tired i would just like take a yeah. nap back. but now, space. You, but now you know knows. he was always there just in case something was happening around him he would yeah. just like get up and because he'd be editing and filming at the same time yeah, like yeah. he'd be doing both yeah. yeah machine craziness yeah but oh, that's, you come that's a long funny. Way. Good story. Started yeah. from the bottom, now we here. Hey. Do you yeah. feel like there always will be like something that you're doing for David, like as time goes on? I feel like I'm so integrated into everything that it's like, right. like we've like talked about it because we're like going through the process of like building out the team a little bigger because right mm -hmm. now there's like four of us and it's just, there's just so much shit. And um, it's funny because we're like, you know, we always talk about this. We're like, okay, Natalie has like Sports Illustrated now. She has like her own deals. I have my own manager. Like I have like my own like little team. That I, Reggie's here now. Like yeah, I have my own little right. team. So it's like this like really tough balance. And but it's also at the same time, it's like David is like, who else is gonna run my stuff? Like you know it so well, and you, but you you've been doing it for so long. Yeah, yeah and it's just like you like, won't trust anybody as much as he trusts you with like just handling right, anything. Like trust, like literally, like the trust. Well, the trust and loyalty thing is like major, but also yeah. like. Just the fact that like he is like the worst at making decisions like where we're like working on the pizza stuff for example mm -hmm. and like he can't decide on like a color scheme which is like you gotta fuck that's like step one to yeah. like figuring <laughs> yeah. stuff out and we're like he's like just ask natalie Ilya gets so frustrated he's like just talk to natalie have a meeting with natalie and I Ilya's totally like, this understand. This is not Natalie's that, company. This is your company. Like he, but, it was so hard for us to come up with that coffee. It, it, it is like those steps are like you think it's simple, but it's like really oh, it's so tough hard. because yeah. you you can change it like later, but like you don't want to change it. You want to like stick with the yeah. first decision, and yeah. but yeah, totally understand that though. Yeah, I feel like we're like making such cool. If we weren't doing such cool things, it would obviously be different. I'd be mm -hmm. like, okay, maybe I want to do something else. Mm -hmm. But like we literally do the coolest fucking things. So like, yeah. I, why would I not want to be a part of that? Yeah, there's so much. There's so much pros and cons. Yeah, what you do right now, and you get to do your own thing. Yeah, and I, I feel like I get like the best of both worlds. Yeah, I was just gonna say it's the best of both worlds. Yeah, because yeah. a lot, like a lot of situations, like that situation, like a lot, like a lot of them, they can't even. Yet you're under this contract, you can't do what you yeah. want. You have to give a percentage. There's just all these like cons with like being signed with like a company like that, or just being working with anybody in general. But you kind of have like the best what was it the other day oh when you wanted to go to the fair but you were flying back from miami and you were like my flight lands at nine do you guys want to go to the fair after i'm like you're non-stop like if, if people <laughs> like like you can like be working all day and it'll be 3 a.m and like you could be ready for bed and people were like do you want to do this and you're like yeah sure like you're like ready to go like, yeah that's what i like about you're always down you're, yeah, always, you're always down, down. When, like when you're well when i have like the worst home. fomo like if you guys are like out doing something i'm like fuck god damn it they're doing yeah without me <laughs> yeah that's like, i don't want to miss out oh, wait yeah. is this the fair <laughs> y'all went to the fair Oh and god, it was, it was sold out. Oh, it was incredible. We got right Best in. night of my life. I, I That's you. not what I saw. <laughs> it was Vegas round two. Oh, okay. <laughs> we were we were all so tired. We were all so tired that day. And and we it was an hour of, drive. Whose idea? I mean, it was, it was like their, I think David's it was, idea. It was like we went idea, there to yeah. go play like we filmed like a little bit, like throwing all the rings on the bottles or whatever. We spent like a thousand dollars on that ring game, by the way. Didn't well, win a single bottle. So y'all got in. Crazy. Damn. No, 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 no. Two separate cars. Oh shit. One car we had it, we, we were in the bad car. We had to film a little bit before we left, so we ended up leaving. But they got there like twenty minutes before we did, yeah. and they and we didn't realize that tickets were sold out. Like we, I didn't even think there was like a limit on tickets like for the either. fair. I thought yeah. you just you kind of buy your way in. Like you go just in. Walk There's people in leaving. And, exactly. There's people yeah. leaving. I thought it's so free why? just to enter, and then if you want to buy anything, yeah. and it was like, only open for like an hour. Like we got there so late, and it was getting ready to shut down anyway. So I'm yeah. sure there was hardly anybody in there. Yeah. Right? Oh, so why man. not accept more like money? Yeah. Like let someone buy a ticket for an hour. Like exactly. You still have to pay the same amount. Right. Yeah. Exactly. 
from but yeah we out. we got there tickets were sold out and we realized we found out that it was really hard for them to get in anyways just to go we're like oh fuck yeah so we can't we, we but i would go. love to go back like yeah. i've never been to a fair like that before I've, it's like, huge heard, it's massive and like yeah. the rides are Humongous. not like no joke it's, they have like all of the best carnival rides mm -hmm. and like all the Gravitron. best carnival food. i didn't yes. realize how oh, big yeah. that pharaoh is until i saw three fucking ferris wheels there's no Massive. carnival has three fucking Ferris no, wheels in it. It was crazy. And they got animals. They have yeah. animals? Mm -hmm. They have like a petting zoo. Oh. And, during the day. And there's like a rodeo in the middle of it. Get there's so much here. to do. So much. Right. I only saw like a People part riding of like horses doing like the freaking, you know. Oh, yeah. You yeah. know so what Heath and I did action. once that like races. people walk right by and you don't think twice about it? Those stupid quarter machines that massage your feet. Oh my god. We what? did that the, at the, the fair. They have the, the yes. thing. Do you ever see those? They them? have them at amusement parks, they but like they are amazing. Stuff. Yeah, and you walk right past them. It's like the massage chairs. Like no one actually does it. We put our quarter in and it was for like two minutes. It was a long time. And Damn, it just vibrates amazing. your feet. But like it worked. You feel so good. It was after. un really? like when your feet are tired, you're walking around this fair all day, you sit. And it's a quarter. That's what it's for? Those yes. Really oh, shit. It it feels yeah, it's insane. just, you just set your feet on top of it. M maybe they should, like they should sell it better. <laughs> hey, are you tired of walking? <laughs> Sit in the seat for two minutes and you'll be another man. <laughs> you'll come back to We, we get an ad read for it. To like. <laughs> but what's the thing in the corner, too? They have, like, the trophy winning, like, uh, chickens. It, it, oh yes, it's a yes. Weird setup. Bring your own chicken. But people like are there from <laughs> like different schools that have like their goat is in our the pigs. Thing. Yeah, it's oh. got. We met so many people that brought their pigs, and they're like, "Oh, we're here to come check out we... our pigs." Yeah. <laughs> what? What? Okay. Oh, that's, that's funny. funny. There's like competitions and stuff. It's so fun. It's pretty it's cool. so cool. much fun. Do they have roller coasters at fairs? Like, like they, small ones. There would be like a little yeah. rinky dink one, but oh. like, no. what do they call them? The cheetah? The cheetah ride? Oh, is it the one where like it spins and it's really very quick? Like, and then it goes mm -hmm. back. Oh, oh, I like yeah. the one that goes or the, backwards. The wild though. mouse yeah. or something. Yeah. The cheetah ride. Oh my, those are my, the zipper? Zipper. Oh, the best. what's yeah. the zipper? I've been seeing too many it's carnival like a rides thing though. thing like this, and it goes like, like your cart spins inside oh, as yes. it. Like a, it's uh, like a little but are you seeing cage. all those videos of the carnival there, ride? I yeah. think they know when the OC fair is happening again. TikTok is just pushing that shit to your for you page, like all the fucking disasters. That was not at the, the OC fair. No, 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 I'm saying not the OC fair. I'm saying just like how the how the world works. It's like a fair is coming up. You're seeing all these carnival accidents on your for you page. Like well, all I these think rides. it's just like summertime. The fairs happen, so like all the fair content is just blocked. Yeah, I, I know. I'm just trying to make it dramatic. They funnel cake. <laughs> The best. Oh my god, the oh, best one. I, I had the fried good food. Cake. They fried had Oreos. turkey legs. They deep fried mm -hmm. corn dogs. Thing. Oh. You know how they make funnel cakes? They, oh god. No. But yeah. What? Yes, they have a, a thing full of batter and then they they, they do a little out. casserole yes. in the. They, I just found out it's actually a funnel. They use a funnel. That's how, why it's called funnel cakes. Well, oh, it comes yeah. out of a funnel and they do that. Yeah. 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 Very okay. cool. You didn't know that. They also well, have. It. That's your first time hearing it. The Krispy Kreme burgers. Instead of a bun, they put it on a two Krispy Kreme donuts. Oh my god! Oh, they put gosh. a burger in the donuts. Instead of a bun, they do two donuts. That so you got like a bacon good. cheeseburger. Oh my god, that sounds amazing! I am amazing. not high it enough for that. No. Amazing. Wow, that sounds no. really good. I love like that combo, like that mm. sweet and the mm -hmm. meat, like chicken yeah, and waffles. Yes. Like it's like the same sort of. It thing. is so. Oh good. yeah, I don't like. I I separate that shit. That's probably why I don't like it. Mm. Separate all that. You're missing out. Wow. They do like deep fried Kool Aid. They do everything deep fried. I don't know how. What? I think you're just it's a dream. It no, that is that is it's real. A thing. They can do deep fried fried. <laughs> deep <I> mean, fried. <laughs> 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 that makes sense. I think they can do deep fried fried. Mm, I love what is, what you, that's the that's best just like part. a donut. Oh, they do the the fried uh, uh, fried stick of butter. Yeah, I don't know how that is bad. They like the it. whole butter. Yeah, it's crazy. Oh, people like, love it. No, 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 no. That just. Oh, wait! My dad can eat butter like no. Yeah, it's a real thing, but it's. I mean, I've never tried it. Does it I'm taste sick like? Does it like? Does it feel like you're eating a whole stick of butter? I just said I've never tried <sighs> it. Ew, ew, oh ew. my god! I just feel like I have a stomach ache. It's pretty dope when you think about it. Y you hey y'all! <laughs> hey y'all! Today we're gonna be making a deep fried stick of butter. <laughs> why does it have to be a whole stick? Why can't it just be like a sliver of butter? Like why does it have why, to be the whole why just fucking butter? Block? Picture it's basically a corn dog. But instead of a dog, it's, it's butter. Just the butter kind of but soaked into yeah, like kind of like fried. melts into like that. <sighs> no. Oh wait, hear me out. Butter in the hot dog, and then you <laughs> fry it. That doesn't sound too bad. I'd eat that. You know I'd what? You know what Disney World has? They have the hot dog with the pickle around it, and then deep fried. That shit's good. The pickle <laughs> is like around the, the hot, hot dog? dog, and then they deep fry the whole thing. How do they do that? 
That's yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a fat pickle. That should be on it, how it's they made. They just carve it out, right? Yeah, they yeah. carve it out. You ever see that show? <laughs> how it's made. <laughs> That's, That's a great uh, idea. It reminds me of Unwrapped. Oh, with Mark Summers? Yes, that was my Have shit. Have you ever wondered what's in a Tootsie Roll? <laughs> <laughs> a bowling ball. <laughs> Damn, I need to watch that. You've never seen they, Unwrapped with Mark Summers? I've never no. seen that either. I don't know. I've never watched TLC in like the late 2000s. It was on Food Network. It was like on... TV I, I more, never oh, watched that shit and though. TLC. I never watched like the food. It network. was the best. Show you how, how they make like M and M's, and it's oh. just maybe oh, I when, they, I, when they did the one where they show you how they make Dippin' Dots. It's pretty. It's pretty sick. I love oh, Dippin' really Dots. Cool. Damn, Dippin' Dots are. How do they do it? So how is it? I don't really remember, but it has <laughs> to be below like normal freezing. Uh huh. It's all right. Yeah, and <gasps> I think they they do like little drops of it or something, and to keep it all, I don't don't. <laughs> he, right, right? It's the worst. Woo! It just made well, you, you get out of what you're trying to say. Fuck it's two demerits. <laughs> it Did you it really no, is the up, worst, right? Here's the thing. It's usually guys, it's like we're going too. on something we don't really know that much about, and I'm just I always try to make sure if it was like a TikTok clip of like they, you know, they do <laughs> <laughs> the dots. Okay, we don't. You know I don't remember. Look it up if you if you're curious. Look it up. You see, but it, it closes off the conversation. Now we got to come up oh, with something I'm, else. Yeah, that's you know actually what I mean? bad. Y'all don't listen to me. Why are you that worried about me? Do you remember when like Dippin' Dots came out and everyone was like, this is the ice cream, ice cream of the, the future. future. Yes. It was like, yes. I mean, it, it was. And they, did, they, they had a good like run. That. They had a good run. Yeah. Now it's that, what's that? Um, I think it's called Dragon. No, now it's after. Something oh, where you bite the it. Ice cream and, yeah, the smoke comes that's out. insane. Yes. That one's just for the experience. It does not taste good. Like, oh. you don't sit there and eat that shit. Or the rolled ice cream. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, that, that one's, like, one's trendy good. and aesthetic. Yeah. It's for the Insta stories, for sure. Dude, What's can't... next? Are you tired of looking at your ice cream and it looks like ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> just What's next? Really Let's create something it. and put it out there. Yeah. What's next for ice cream? <laughs> Ooh, an ice cream, but it's melted. <gasps> Milk. <laughs> <laughs> That was good. That was good. <laughs> so you and Todd. <laughs> oh, Todd. I, good. Good thinking, Heath. Todd. <laughs> wow. wow. Good thinking. Our best friend Todd. Good thinking. Good, think good, good, good thinking. I, for, I forget you guys fucking are together sometimes. Heath. Good thinking. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. I'm gonna say it. I'm surprised you guys are still rocking and rolling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Blows Wait, did you mind. see the you clip of our so old good. podcast where no. they, we said, like, when you guys first announced that oh, you were wait. together, yeah, yeah, there was a whole clip where we were like, it's not, no way. <laughs> I, I think they're I just having fun. I don't think it's real. I don't think it's real. I think they both like that it's, like, a bad thing to do, so they're just having fun. And it's, I mean, like, that's a little... obviously how it started. Like, it yeah. started off as, like, the biggest, like, no, oh, my God. When it first started, I don't think I've ever even said this. This is great. It was good. Okay. <laughs> Todd and I first started talking, like, for, like, months like mm -hmm. before anybody like knew and i remember he would not he like he would never pull a move on me he would just like text me and like we would just flirtingly text so like we would be in the same house like he'd come over to david's and we'd be like texting each other like flirting across the room just like fucking with each other because that was mm -hmm. like funny and like obviously couldn't do anything mm -hmm. and i remember the first <laughs> one night <laughs> one night he was at all of you yeah he was like watching a movie and i was and i like made the first because he was way too scared and he yeah. never thought i would actually like take the bite and he like invited me over to watch a movie and everybody was home and nobody knew I was there. What? Yeah. Wait, and Zane and I were living there? And Jason, yeah, you guys were all there. You guys were watching a movie? And we watched a movie like down. It was like I came over at like one in the morning, which is not me at all. I never <gasps> and knew we were, that. Well, we were, we were, we were, we were home? Yeah, you were all home. And I, 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 I didn't like, go I, up like, to take a pee and looked over. Oh yeah, I look over I'm to surprised. the surprised that was risky. Oh if we, gosh, if me and Matt went out and wait, looked at that, that would have been over for you. Y'all were down in the back room in the kitchen. Though. No, we were in the main. Living Shit! Room. How we the fuck out. did we not notice that? And if somebody's like downstairs watching a movie, I would go down there and watch it with them. Like I love. Everybody I, like I like asked them I was, like is everybody asleep like I like made sure that you ooh, guys would like, not sneaky young shit. Oh yeah, I was like wow. it was literally out of like a little teenage movie. I was like, that's hey. probably why you ha we're having fun. Did 100%. you guys cuddle on the couch? Yeah, we just cuddled. Like he, I think he like kissed me goodnight, but that was it. Like we just watched on the movie the and I left. Yeah, yeah, on the lips. <laughs> But he was so scared. He was oh terrified. Oh my gosh! Well, the, I mean, it, it, it was really Todd scared. Yeah. I mean, what did you do? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's scary, like trying something like that in the friend group. Like it's well, because it, it, it's a risk. Yeah, it's a huge risk. Huge. 
risk. But Todd loves <laughs> taking risks. Get played ten years from now, <laughs> wherever you guys are. <laughs> um, Todd but, is a risk taker. So that's you made sure. the first yeah. move. Or wait, um, no, he you came over y'all and he kissed you. Guys. No, yeah, I well, feel like she like that was her first move, like coming over and watching a movie. Well, like, what did, movie? Um, didn't no, matter, baby. No, 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 <laughs> it's you, not like they no, watched it. No, no, and Natalie, you probably picked like Shark Tale. Twilight. No, you know what I think? I Shark Tale's a great movie. That's <laughs> a Twilight. I think Twilight. it was like a rom com. I think it was um. Never been kissed. <laughs> 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 no, what's the one where she's like, uh, what's her name? Fuck. Matthew McConaughey and the woman. Oh, Kate. ten. Th- or, oh, how to lose a guy in ten days. How to lose a guy in ten days. I think it was that we watched. Oh, that. the yellow dress. Fun. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's so cute. And then and then it just started from there. And then like that was like that was when he was like okay like I can like I can like go for her now like that was like his like <gasps> invitation to like go for it and oh, that's that's when... hard. <laughs> <laughs> Then all of a sudden he's just. <laughs> now he's like so that was happening <laughs> she was like oh. so that's been happening for the next year and then yeah. literally that was, so then we took a year off and then, no, <laughs> and then um and then i think we started like going out and when we would go out like i wouldn't like i was like filming with david and whatever and i was like don't don't come near me like don't show anybody <laughs> so embarrassing. Oh, especially when Todd's drunk too. Like you probably had a fucking uh-huh. slap that hand away. <laughs> and then I think what was it? it was like maybe like a month into us like hooking up or whatever. Um, he and it was like I we hadn't like slept over each other's houses. We would like kiss each other at the end of the night, and like nobody would really know. But then Sneaky. it had been that, that had been happening we for a month. We should have those cameras, huh? <laughs> I know. Oh my god. Okay. Wait. So then. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. And then there was one night where like I was like, "Fuck it, whatever." We've been doing it for the month, and I was like, "I don't care if anybody even knows." So we were sitting at the bonfire at David's house, uh-huh. and you guys were all like, "It was like the end of the night," and Todd and I we were like super drunk. We were just sitting there, and then we started like making out. Oh shit. <laughs> and then everybody was in the kitchen, and I thought David had gone to bed. Because I like he went early. I thought that night was the first night you guys start, started talking no, to each other. I know everybody thought that. <laughs> oh, shit. Have really, Damn. That was oh the my plan, God. though. Oh, oh my gosh. Month. gosh. But and then I remember David came out to the kitchen and I like and he talked to Jay and he was like, dude, like, should we go help Natalie? Like, it's just she doesn't want to be <laughs> <Should we laughs> help Todd's like trying to make out with her, like pull a move. And Jay was like, No, bro, like they've been doing this for like weeks now. <laughs> and David was like, Jay Oh boy. my god. He was like offended Boy's I didn't new. tell him. And I was like, obviously I didn't tell you. You would have been like, oh my God, now like, you've been going for Todd. Like, <laughs> give me so much shit. Wow. But yeah, and then that was like, that was it. Wow, that was... this is the first time I've like heard about all that. That's crazy. I remember when it was yeah. established and you guys were like cleared it together and we're all like, oh, this is great. And I remember asking <laughs> you, I was like, so what do you think? Like, like, like you really, really like him. And you... every time I asked you that, <laughs> okay. like months would go on. Every time I asked you, you'd be like, it's just fun. It's, it's just fun. fun. And I would like look at you guys and I would see the way you're looking at each other. I was like, this is not for fun. <laughs> <laughs> like you really, this really like each other. Fun. And we would like bust your balls and be like, did you say I love you yet? And you, oh my you God, yeah. would lie. I'm like, I know the truth. <laughs> <laughs> like you didn't want to like, like admit it to yourself. Oh, because I was like, so nervous. Cause yeah. it's like, it's like such a, like, it's such a big deal to date somebody, but then also to like date somebody that like you've been friends with for so long. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. That's, I mean, that's a big Tom announcement Natalie. to the whole group. It is. Yeah, it's like yeah. something you have to <laughs> I love how the prepare. announcement was just like, let's just do it <laughs> in front of everybody. Well, you know what happened, I think, first was like the billboard. The billboard text happened. Oh, and then, right. And then. Oh, um, I thought that bonfire shit. thing was before the billboard. Was it? I Maybe think it, it was. Yeah. I didn't see the make out, but I did see you guys like kind of like definitely flirting. So in my head, it was like, oh, wow, this is night. Oh, day one. Oh, day one. Actually, oh, okay, actually no. no. I. Wait, no, no, no. What? Say it, no, say it. I knew a, a little earlier, even before you and before you. How? Todd showed me some texts. <gasps> Ooh. What texts? <laughs> so, because I didn't believe him, because like, and he was like, no, I, he, he was had like, to he prove was himself. like, oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, wait, yeah, yeah. Wait, what did you say? I said he had to prove himself with like showing you texts. Well, I had like such doubts where he was like, oh yeah, no, like me and Natalie. I'm like, uh, <gasps> yeah, sure, <laughs> you and Natalie, bro. Matt, Matt knows exactly what to do. Yeah. He was like, no, bro, like look, and I was just like. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Natalie is texting you this stuff, and it wasn't anything like risque. Nothing yeah, you should you know. be embarrassed Just about. But it was, it was totally confirming, like, 
you guys like were That's you know funny. wow and i and i remember i had to keep it a secret from like everyone else because todd was like do not tell anyone yeah. wow. about this that's actually the truth yeah he was really nice about the fact that i did not want a single soul to know that i was with no him. no you guys definitely did a good job because yeah. I, didn't fucking, I didn't know at all that I, this but shit that's was how, happening like i knew it was real because like todd was like all of a sudden tame like he, there was a switch in him too like he was calm cool and collected for so long because mm. he used to be like wild and crazy and mm. like something shut off and i was like what's up with todd lately yeah and then like that's when we started finding out i was like oh mm -hmm. this is real like he really <laughs> likes you like that's mm. how you know he really like was into it yeah also we started like we started like actually dating like right before the pandemic so i feel like that's like such a weird time because it's like we are literally like the beginning of a relationship we were just trapped at home every single day like watching movies together right yeah so it's like you're not like out like you're not going out in public and parties and events it's like you know oh yeah, yeah. it's hard to gauge the relationship mm -hmm. that's How's why it i was going so nervous. now that everything's like like open yeah like that's like a whole new relationship now like yeah. you guys go out together yeah huh. no, i mean it's in it like he came with me to the runway stuff last week mm -hmm. and it was like first of all like all of the people like part of the sports illustrated team they play natalie and they're like obsessed with it and they put it like in all their content and stuff which <laughs> i think it's hilarious and um, they're like we gotta see those numbers go up <laughs> natalie todd too <laughs> yeah, todd, like, yeah. todd, todd will share it i wrote that, I wrote that. <laughs> but no i mean like and it was it was like that was my first thing like he came to support me doing something oh cool and he was like so down I don't know. Yeah. It good. was like, yeah. He's you can like, say you like him. You love him. <laughs> she's nah. like, doesn't, it was just cool of him. <laughs> it's your literal boyfriend. Like still, still that in high was school. really nice of him. Just really, really pretty cool. chill. It's pretty chill, yeah. I don't know. You know what's funny? David was talking to me yesterday. He was like, um, about like how I am in relationships in comparison. We talk about relationships all the time because he's like dying for a fucking girlfriend. <laughs> and um, he's like, he always tells me like that I'm like too chill. He's like, if I was dating Natalie, like, it, she would just be too chill for me. I would just be like, I would be like terrified all the time or whatever because I'm like too chill. And he, he, I don't know. That's don't so know. funny. He's like, he needs somebody that's like a little more dependent, a little more needy. And I just like, like I love Todd and like we do things together, but like I don't see him all day and I see him at night. Mm -hmm. Like I, but I don't have to like depend on him. Like we have like it's weird because we're like very together and we're all so friends and we see each other all the time. We're obviously so close. But you both work. But like you do we your own thing. Live like yeah. really separate lives at the same time. Yeah, it's weird. I noticed That's that too. Yeah. No, sorry. Oh, you, go ahead. You have a very similar baseline, kind of mm -hmm. like with each mm -hmm. other, that mm -hmm. you yeah. guys just like are like, mm, like when you guys are with each other, it's just like very in sync. Like mm -hmm. no one's yeah. out. Do no one's ever wigging out. Like or yeah. You guys right. stress each other, other out very out. well. Yeah, yeah. Like you right. guys do, just do your own thing, and then you come together, and then you like have dinner or whatever. Like it, mm -hmm. it, it's nice to see that you guys have like your shit going on, and then you can. Yeah, yeah. it's nice. It's a good balance. People are you gonna, are you gonna marry him? <laughs> you guys, you guys with the fucking questions. <laughs> <laughs> Month one, do you love him? Do you love him? <laughs> you don't get an answer. Sure. <laughs> I don't know. That. I'm like weird about like marriage. I'm like I got weird marriage things. Like I don't. Mm really understand marriage yeah i'm the same i mean <laughs> i don't get I'm, it I'm the, I'm, I'm the same way though like I, because it's I so weird to me it. because like if you get married i know it's like a commitment to somebody but at the same time like you can get divorced like no it's not like really that binding right yeah you can just break it so it's like what's the point yeah like, not, but what not sucks what sucks about like divorce is just Mama. there's so much legal shit like it makes it so much like harder when like you have to like break it off it's just like so much bullshit happens after that that's why like i think marriages suck it like doesn't make sense to me. I it's love just, marriage. I, no, me I, too. I, was, like, I cannot wait to have a wedding and get my dress. And I'm oh so excited. God, I am I planning wait. out all the things. Yeah. I, I want a big fucking rock. Like I want all the things. <laughs> I want a big fucking rock. <laughs> no, I, I get the whole marriage. I wish marriage thing was more fun than like all this illegal shit. That's like binding the, the two people. I think that's what makes it weird. You and I no, think really. it's also different. Just like the kids. Like you have to split the kids up. You have to split the house up. Who's getting the car? Who's getting the house? But like, I also that's think that's scary. That's the way like, you grow up and the people you grow up around that affects it a lot like I we feel have like. different reference points like yeah on that yeah and you know because that their thoughts are like you have to deal with marriage and you got to deal with the split deal with you it. yeah i'm like, like, I, we, like I can't really that's but assuming that it goes that. to that point of a divorce right, right. in oh. my head you like that's think, not even a yeah. thing like i'm just like whoever i married like divorce isn't an option that's the thing yeah but yeah. that's how you my parents were it. Well, you guys also come like we come from divorced parents. You yeah. don't, right? Yeah. It's that's yeah. what I'm saying. It's yeah. like you're doesn't that. Oh wow. Yeah. Good hey. thinking. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> but also, like at the same time, I'm like, yeah, let's get married because it's like, sure. 
Like, let's throw a crazy party. Let's, like, get some rings. Let's have, like, a really good time. <laughs> Her Who and cares? Rings. Get some rings. Right. Like, it's a, just get some rings. But I'm even, like, like, if it's something fun. Like, I just think it's so fun. Like, yeah. weddings are so fun. Like, weddings yeah. are wedding. the best. Yeah. They're so I wanna, fun. My girl's ring is going to be the one you get from Publix. My girl's. You put the <laughs> my you know, girl's. The, when it comes out, little tin thing. I think that's funny, thing. though. Like, why, I, like... I think that's like so funny. Like yeah. even if it's like a fake. Don't ring, take it too seriously. You can have I like twenty be of them because they're like two dollars. Interchange them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can have them all. Changeable. <laughs> I've seen way too many things go wrong in marriages, and that's why I feel differently about it. But that's why, I, like I've se- I get that, but I also am like that's why I'm like fuck it, let's get married because it's just like you just figure it out. Like I'm not the kind of person that's gonna like fucking argue with you in court when we get a divorce i'm just gonna be like yeah okay let's do it we're chill people I'm like i don't know mm. it's yeah. crazy to think that, like david legally got married <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, oh yeah like, he it, was a husband that is fucking and lorraine bonkers. didn't sign a fucking prenup that lady could be like oh my god i want have your money she didn't no she no didn't. no like we, legal no right no no like we literally I, we called david's <laughs> accountant and his an, attorney annulled though right? yeah they got uh yeah they got an annulled so the prenup is like er, well yeah no it doesn't matter but i'm oh, just saying okay. yeah, like, right. she's in a funny way in a funny way legally she could have she could have if she wanted to yeah like, no it's crazy that. when we called them the day of to do that marriage his like accountant and um his attorney they were freaking out and we're like she's a 75 year old woman like she's not gonna fucking take his money who cares it's lorraine and they're like Bleh. they were fr- they were so pissed i mean we just I, did it anyway but they're they're freaking out for a reason because they have no idea. Yeah, of course. The Does she still wear the ring? Oh, yeah, yeah. You know we got the ring. We got the ring at the mall. Like oh, down how much, the how much was the ring? I think it was like fifty bucks. <laughs> it's pretty expensive for a fake marriage. Yeah, no, it was literally like it was like those counters, the jewelry counters in the mall, the little booths that mm-hmm. are like in the middle of all the stores. That's where we got it. We yeah, got her her flowers there too. Fifty dollars. But Mariah said that's really expensive for a ring. That's pretty expensive for, for like, yeah, like a fake, like a fake, for a fake real yeah, wedding. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's funny. That's, that's funny. funny. <laughs> Still making payments. <laughs> we got Sorry. high expectations over here. You know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what they say? <laughs> What's the salary? <laughs> is it three? A three-year salary? Is it, what is no, it? Three, 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 three years? Salary. No, Could you imagine? Michael, Michael Hell Scott. Yeah. <laughs> what oh, wait, that? E. Joe. He said. <laughs> yeah. It's a three year salary. Oh my God. <laughs> Wait, who said that? You Michael said that in the office. Was, oh, yes, yes. You know what they <laughs> say. Three, three year salary. And they were like, three <laughs> months. And he was like, <laughs> oh, shit. Because he's been saving up. Three years? <laughs> For a song, it's probably like 300. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's funny. That's oh, so man. fucking funny. Oh God! I can't wait for everybody. I mean, if everybody does, like, go to like, we still have to go through everybody's weddings. Everybody still has to have kids. Like, mm-hmm. there's uh-huh. so much just... more <laughs> life to live. Yes, yeah. Yeah. for all of us, and that's gonna be so fun to watch, like, unfold. So yeah. fun. Like, we're excited when people get a dog. <laughs> like, there's so much more to it. Yeah, Henry's yeah. pretty damn cute. Yeah, Henry's, Henry's the, the cutest, cutest fucking dog. That's what's so funny. People are always like, "David's not gonna be vlogging when he's like 30." Like we're trying to like hit the rest of the teams like trying to figure out the next like business moves and he's like what do you mean like people are gonna have kids and weddings of course I'll be vlogging yeah there's gonna be yeah of yeah. course dude family vloggers are making a killing right now <laughs> yeah, and they don't think too. he's gonna be vlogging when he's a family it's They're gonna vlogging. be crazy when David does have a kid and can look back and watch these vlogs uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the ring with like she, she opens the door and he just like is in front of the TV <laughs> no that is crazy. Guys. <laughs> His babies have a little mini flamethrower. Just because like. when David's like 60, 70, he is so young, like young enough where like you can watch those videos and like be freaked out. Or he'll recreate bits with with all our kids. It's be crazy. Yeah, right. like, re- oh my oh god, my- that, like it's like a vlog squad special reunion, oh but it's god. all of our children. He's oh gonna, my god, he's gonna keep going. He's not gonna stop. <laughs> he's gonna mic all <laughs> of our generation. kids and just let them. <laughs> run around. Oh my god, that'd be crazy. <laughs> We're gonna be eighty years old. He's gonna be like ten thirty. My house tomorrow. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> our sons jumping on tables. No, no, no. <laughs> I, Alice and Ray coming over. She's doing a flip off the table. What? She's 80. <laughs> she's 80. We're, we're just going to be so old. Just like, fuck, okay. All right. Let's do this. Let's do this. Yeah. If you had a remote and you could see like what happens in 80 years, you could get a quick uh, glimpse. Would you do it? Quick. No. Not 80. Sorry. No. We'd no. be dead. No, no, no. no. I don't want to know. No, I don't know. No. no. That's Not scary. at all. Because no. what if something terrible? What if you're like, you that's... pass forward and you're dead? Well, then, <laughs> then like, I know. Okay. Oh, okay. I got to live my life to the fullest. But that's just You should do that way. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Did you measure your height when you were like you and your family? Yeah, we, yes. we still have the stick. 
No way. Mm -hmm. It used to be on a on a door, and then when we moved, my parents transferred it over to like a yard stick, like a wooden stick. We still do it. I oh. shrunk. <laughs> we had it at my grandma's Freaking house, shrunk. and then she sold it, and like you got to transfer it over. Yeah, we, we brought it to every house. We kept moving houses. The divorce, so we didn't have the divorce. So, the big divorce. So we didn't have a <laughs> wall. Like, what age did your parents get divorced? I don't know exactly what age I was, but I know when my stepdad and my mom got married, mm -hmm. married like after the divorce, I was like six. Okay, yeah, same. So See, I, was, like, I was probably three. like three, maybe yeah, 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 or two. Same. That's like you don't even like. If you don't even know the life, like when you're older, when you're like a teenager mm -hmm. and your parents divorce, it's like totally different than when you're like. But a I've child. been going back and forth all my life. Same as yeah. a kid, it, it was the worst. It's like the worst thing you can do for a kid. Yeah. So it your like really sisters have the same dad, mm -hmm. right? You come from the same dad. Yeah. yeah. Were you able to like navigate through like all that like fine, like going back and forth to your mom and dad's house? Um. Right yeah, here. I was fine. My like, I mean, my dad like. I mean, my parents were like great and my dad lived like in Wrigleyville so like whenever I would go to his place and he lived it's kind of funny he lived in like a town home in mm -hmm. Wrigleyville with like three other dudes so like I would like go to his place for the weekend and be like me and like the guys oh, and, that, oh that's fun and not like in a weird way <laughs> no it sounds like like an Adam Sandler movie or something <laughs> yeah, like oh yeah, this yeah. is and I was like daughter. the tomboy like girl like I played like the sports and like we would go to like the Cubs games I would like wait out and like catch the ball with like them and oh that's so they, cute they that's would give cool. me like baseballs because they um you could go wait um when the players would come in and like drive their cars in and they would let the kids like come in and like the players would sign their balls so my dad and like his friends they would like put me out there to like oh, get in that's there like, cute. yeah it, that's it, cute. obviously you're not a baby but what's that movie where the three dads and a baby thanks for clarifying they would three men and a baby three men and a baby that, movie, that, that whole what you, just, what you just said it made me remind like remind me of that movie yeah because no, they were doing all these like. things with the baby with all the dads. obviously you're not a baby yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to be clear you're not a baby but no are, no because no if i said that movie you would have been like well she's not a baby no knowing what we, you guys would have done obviously no she's not no, a baby no i know you guys you would have said well, right, Zane, try, she's not we'll try a baby. it see what we say okay let me try it again all right you know that movie when... she's not a baby <laughs> <laughs> that is not the baby were you popular in high school <laughs> Oh, yeah. Were you popular in high school? We were saying, I bet Natalie was popular in high school and she's popular now. Like, you can't have both. It's got to be one fair. or the other. No, the people that are, like, big on social media because they were, like, losers in high school. Mm -hmm. Are you guys talking from experience? Or... No. Well, I'm a loser in both No, it's just like, that's what you see in movies. <laughs> but you won a superlative, right, at your high school? Um, Yeah. Uh, David... Most popular. <laughs> <laughs> Most uh, likely to succeed. I prettiest. <laughs> I won um, Dream Date in high school. Whoa. Every boy's oh my Dream God. Date. Like, that's, like, hot. Like, come on. But I wasn't, like, the most popular girl in school. I just, like, um, like I think I was, like, cute. Like, the same, like, I, I am now. Like, She's, I like, I was, the like, girl cute. next door. That is the most popular. Dream Date? <laughs> that's, that's, like, that's, like, above most popular. Yeah. Yeah. Most popular could just be, like, really cool. But, like, Dream Date is, like. Yeah, if there's, a most, if there's a most popular girl, she saw that, she was just, like, who the fuck? Fuck is Natalie. Well, my like, I was, I was, I was friends with like the really cool crew, and I was also friends with like David Dobrik. You know, mm -hmm. like I kind of like balanced. <laughs> oh yeah, two. that was me too. I was friends with every group, and everybody liked me. Mm -hmm. But I, w I wasn't real like outside of school. Like I wasn't invited to like parties and stuff because they like, like She's I don't know. A it was square. Weird. Hey, wasn't that you? <laughs> what? Like, friends with everybody, but weren't invited to any of the parties. Well, I think it's cause just because like, I, I, I wasn't. Oh, I wasn't being mean. I, I thought we talked about this. Before. Yeah, I just like. They could have invited me, and I w would have asked, and I would have gotten denied. So. Yeah, I wasn't allowed. Bar like you birthday say no parties. fifty times, you're not gonna. That's true. Yeah. Get an ass. If I had a birthday party to go to, my mom would have to go and meet the parents, and then I can go in the house. Oh. So I ne didn't ask. I was like, "That's so embarrassing. I can't." Yeah. <laughs> you just say no. But you had so many brothers and sisters. I felt like it was just. Fun and honestly, being at home. yeah, we beat each other up. That's all we <laughs> had. Did to you do. feel like you were like too scared to even ask? Yeah, I would never ask for anything. Like my my no. friends used to ask, like, "Hey, do you want to go to the movies this weekend?" No, I knew it was a no. Uh, if it was a school day, <laughs> yeah. no. The answer is yeah. no. Let's talk about yeah, my no. situations. My brother like was always out because he's much older than me. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, sorry. Tension whore over here. Jesus. Oh, fuck. Sorry, go. No, the way you phrased no, the it. the way you like... phrased it. <laughs> oh, shit. What, how Wait, did I you phrase say, it? Let's talk about my situation. Is that what you just said? <laughs> no, I didn't say that. Yeah, that's what you just said. You just yeah. said. What did Play you... it back. <laughs> oh, my. No, I, I swear to God, I didn't say that. I, I was just talking. I just said, um, I just started saying like what. Yeah, no let's code. talk about yeah, my situations. My brother like was always out. I like, I, bro, what are you on? <laughs> you definitely just said that. Did I really? Oh, fuck. You said, okay. let's talk about my situation. So back No, I did it. No, I did it. If I said that, if I said that, if I said that, that's really bad. I'm sorry. You may have like... <laughs>
muddled it. Like you may have been trying to get something up. I know your brain. It's like you're. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I know him pretty I, well I, too. I'm not. I'm not mad. Uh, you, it's fine. It's fine. Just cut all this out, please, Jack. Cut it all out. <laughs> I remember the first time you guys all came over, um, because like David was like kind of like he didn't want to like invite people over to his new house because mm-hmm. he was like still fresh, whatever. And the first night, like, um, I was I tried to do like any like activity I could by myself. And I would like do puzzles by myself. I'd like watch movies. And then I was painting one night in the living room. And all of you guys came back hammered at like one in the morning to, to David's house. <laughs> and I was like, so he didn't tell me. He didn't even give me like a text heads up being like, hey, we're all coming back. You guys just fucking barrel She's in. She's in her underwear <laughs> painting in the <laughs> kitchen. In my pajamas, like probably like face mask and shit on. Paint everywhere, like just doing my own thing. And you guys all walk in. I was like so embarrassed and I literally just like scooped everything up. Like had paint all over me. I just threw it in my room. You just ruined everything you created. Zane grabs the paint. <laughs> <laughs> Who was painting? What are we painting? <laughs> painting are we? <laughs> and I was so mad at David because I was like, oh my God, they all think I'm a fucking loser. Like I'm sitting at home painting alone by myself. Nobody even remembers Nobody that. even no, saw nobody that. Has, and nobody, nobody cared. David's like, shut the fuck up. Like, you're being an idiot. And I was like, you gotta tell me. Like, I wanna be like, like I wanna be like cool. I don't know, whatever. <gasps> she wanted to be dream date still. Yeah, I was just working my way there. <laughs> <laughs> and now you're everybody's favorite. Yeah. So you are. maybe I should paint a little more. <laughs> maybe I should paint a little more. I just wanna be Natalie so bad. <laughs> well, Natalie, thank I you so much for stopping by. We are so proud of you. How, and, how I and podcast are here. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're done here. <laughs> Well, Natalie, it was great. That's enough. I'm so excited for what's to come. Yeah. And, um, me too. I want to see what girl boss shit you do. I know, me too. We all boss shit up around here. What's coming up for season six? <laughs> we all boss We all boss shit up around here. That's Miss Juicy, baby. We quote her all the time. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Well, okay, thanks for well, having me, guys. Yeah, thank you for coming course. on. That thank was great. You. Thank you for taking the time out of your day. And congrats again. Thank you. You're doing great things. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we post the audio every single Monday, Spotify, Apple, and then we also post the video every single Tuesday, youtube.com slash Zane and he. Awesome. Um, all right. Yeah. That's it. Thank you so much. We love you. Bye. Bye. Bye.